Hi everybody, welcome to this uh, this uh, episode of Amiga Dawn. Um, say hello everyone. Hello. 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 Um, everyone's here apart from uh, Thomas. Thomas has uh, got a, a family do on, so uh, at the moment uh, Thomas's character Jazz is being played by um, uh, Lord Entrails, or Dan as we also call him. Um, no, not me. No, not you. No, it's not you. Play cat, it's by Ben. Plays cat. Mm-hmm. That was our, that's our, cat's got cat's got jazz. Sorry, my fault. My fault. Anyway, um, a quick recap from uh, from last session. Uh, the budget crew had been, or has been, I should say, hired by a reporter uh, to try and help her get an interview with Jack Larange, um, the head of a uh, bio uh, uh, bioengineering company who uh, won a very prestigious prize just recently and during his prize speech um, uh, started laying into the uh, the Vrusk on his home planet um, and uh, the speech was cut was uh, was taken off air um, very quickly by a, one of the by a uh, a Incidentally, a rust technician. Um, anyway, um, Lorraine is uh, notoriously uh, shy about giving interviews, um, but uh, the budget crew's um, the budget crew's employer, Charlotte, uh, found out that he that uh, Lorraine and a couple of bodyguards and that were going back to Lorraine's home planet, um, and um, of Qatar, 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 is that right? Qatar, 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 Qatar. Qatar. Um, that one, and, yeah. Uh, organised to uh, to travel on the uh, the same starliner. Uh, the group was uh, reasonably reasonably uh, successful in getting an interview uh, with Larange, um, and uh, but uh, things turned sour right at the end of that. Um, anyway. The uh, the uh, in addition to the budget crew and uh, Charlotte Comets, the reporter, and Larange and his group were a couple of um, Rust executives from the uh, where are we? Glass. Wrong side of the tracks. The wrong side of the tracks. Yeah, no, from the right side of the tracks. From one of the uh, trade houses on Qatar. Um, uh, which one was it? It was the. It was the glass guys. Yeah, I know, but I can't remember. I, I, I can't Click remember. Click a Yeah, thank you. Um, as I said, it's going to be a bit messy today, guys, because we've uh, we've got some data issues. Um, anyway, a couple of uh, a couple of Rusk executives, uh, one of one of whom tried to to crack on to Cerise, uh, but she rebuffed him, apparently. Anyway. Um, the sh- the uh, the starship arrived in the uh, uh, in the uh, Kratar systems, Kratar's planetary system, and sent a shuttle. Oh, that was the other thing. On the way uh, on the way into the planet, um, yes, um, he didn't. Uh, on the way in on the planet, you uh, you were invited up to the bridge to what uh, to to watch the approach. And you noticed the whole the whole bridge noticed. Uh, um, apparently, there's an explosion next to one of them, one of the moon bases on the closest moon of Qatar, um, which uh, the uh, captain uh, reported in. Um, anyway, you landed at the at the spaceport, uh, went started to go through customs, um, at the at the and um, got your passports and travel papers all checked. And started heading towards the, uh, the actual custom buildings for a baggage check. Um, when um, somebody opened up with a, uh, a, a laser rifle um, aimed at Larange, um, and the two Rusk on the shuttle with you threw frag grenades at Larange's party and at um, Charlotte, who had gone to have a quick word with Larange, um, a firefight ensure, ensued. Um, and uh, Larange, his two bodyguards, and Charlotte were all killed, as were both of the Vrusk. 
uh, executives who threw the grenades, um, the sniper and a getaway driver jumped into a vehicle and uh, um, headed for the front gate of the of the starport with the recent hot pursuit in, on a hover bike. I remember. Yep. Ground cycle hover bike, one of the two. Ground cycle, one of the two. Um, anyway, um, uh, uh, before the um, uh, before the, uh, the sniper could get out, uh, apparently the driver lost control of the ground car and, and ploughed into one of the pylons holding up the monorail system um, uh, uh, into the uh, into and out of the uh, the airport. Uh, and um, Cerise was pulled over by security um, and uh, escorted back to the um, customs building. Um, as were everybody else. Now everybody at the moment is in a interrogation room, um, not handcuffed, but not. Um, but the doors locked from the outside. Um, you are offered. You are offered not a refreshment so much, but you are offered a, a drink if you want one. Um, and you are each. Um, you are each um, interrogated as to exactly what happened, who you who who you are, and, and whatever else. The main, the main, um, the main uh, interrogator or questioner, better way of saying it, is a Rusk by the name of. Uh, I'm, I'm going to type. Wow, that's really, really hard to pronounce. Raul Ika Zikitik. I'll, I'll, I'll put it in the in the chat so you guys can see it um, and possibly make a note of it uh, if you were if you wanted to. Um, he is wearing a uniform of the. Um, um, the security house. Yeah, the security house. I'm looking for the name. Uh, yeah. 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 Anyway, so that's he, that, this is this is his got that's his name. Um. Um. On on an on initial uh, questioning, he he is particularly apologetic about the incident, um, and emphasises more than once that that this type of thing has never happened before. Um, on finding out that Charlotte was one of your companions, in the, he uh, he offers his sympathies to the death of Charlotte, um, and he says he undertake both to contact Pen Galactic Hollow News, Charlotte's, um, Charlotte, Charlotte, uh, um, uh, the, the employer, employer, her employer. Thank you, um, and also arranges the body to be to returned home. Um, he informs you that the operator of the security robot which attacked you, which wasn't wasn't a really big a big part of the the session last week. I think he, I think he got one 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 attack in that didn't hit anyone, which is unusual. Anyway. He, re he, informs, he informs you that the operator of the security robot which attacked you has been caught. But unfortunately, the technician committed suicide by blowing her own head off. Wait, what security robot? I don't remember security there was a robot. Security ro there was a security robot last week that took a pot shot at you guys, but it didn't hit anyone. Is that the sniper? No. No, uh, that, was, um, that was something else. It was there. It just didn't play a very big part. Um, in what in the events because he wasn't hitting anyone. Huh. Okay. Um, so um, he seems Zick seems uh, genuinely upset and shocked at the at the murder of Larange. Um, he he says, look, you know, Larange was an, certainly an outsp an outspoken person, but it's not really the Rusk way to deal with opposition in such a bloody manner. 
However, the evidence clearly shows that the Rust were responsible for LaRange's death. And, and they were Rick personnel at that. So... Wait, so the two yeah. um, Brusk businessmen were... Um, no, the sniper and the driver. The Rick employees. Which is the security group, right? Yeah. Which is the security group, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Um, so... The, the planet so, here, just to clarify for me, please. The uh, yeah. the Crater Liberation Chorus are trying to get rid of the Brusque. But this was yes. a Brusque attack. Yeah, as far as you're aware, the information you have on the. Uh, where are we? The. Um, hang on. Just looking for it, looking for it, looking for it. It's the problem when I have data issues. Um, it was originally, if I remember right, oh, the KLC, yeah. The, 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 the Karakar Liberation Corps is an illegal human terrorist group dedicating to the eradication of Rusk, of all Rusk on Qatar. KLC members are fanatics who will stop at nothing. That's what the computer information gave you. Right. Okay. The, this here was a Rusk attack on humans. Yes, this was a brusque attack on humans, and apparently it was it was performed by um, uh, the security companies, some of the security companies personnel. Oh, there's where, there's where you put us. Do we know if the, it was uh, employees were uh, brusque? Because the two yeah, executives were brusque, but they were from a trade house. Yep. Yep. That was well. Well, Rick's a trade house as well. Um, right, but were, yes, were the sniper and security. driver were they brusk? The, yeah, the sniper and driver were both. Uh, were they both brusk? Yes, they were. Okay. Yes, they were. The, the 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 driver and the sniper were both brusk, and they worked for the security police uh, trade house, uh, Ralaka or Rick. All right, the uh, two. Brusque exec executives who came in with you on the shuttle uh, were executive were sales executives from ClickAct, well CA. Okay. okay. And apparently the security robot operator was also a uh, Rick employee and also a Rusk. The Brusk trade houses. They, they do hire eight people, main. Humans, they're, they're the main right? bus trade. Sorry, they're, they're, there are eight main bus trade houses. There are a couple of smaller ones which don't really, you know. Right, but anything. I'm saying they're they're bus that set them up, but they are actually commingling in general. Oh yeah, yeah, there's, they're, yeah. There's, they're humans work for, humans work for the trade houses, just like just like busks do at all at all levels, except executive. There yeah, no basically, Rust culture got integrated into the planet, and some people, especially like humans, it. they weren't used to that culture, so then things turned out negatively, and thus, the conflict. We organized mm -hmm. them as they should be, and turned it profitable from a bunch of scrounging miners and uh, farmers. Farmers, actually. Yeah. That's one way of looking at it. That's probably the Rust way of looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> Brusk best, whatever. Oh dear, terrible, 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 terrible. Um, so, um, um, Zikar is is pretty um, uh, friendly, open, uh, willing to answer questions. Um, yeah. you guys what, what do you guys want to do uh, if anything how long are you gonna hold us yeah it's, yeah uh, it's, I I don't got any question I'd like to go we saw the explosion as we were we were on the bridge as we were coming in on the ship we saw the explosion on the moon what happened there 
No, it's still being investigated. I have no knowledge. I'm covered in the blood of innocent civilians. Where can I get a bath? <sighs> we need perfume. Oh, they, no, they would have. See, that's only a problem if you wear clothes. Um, mm, you, I, I don't know about thought of that. Yeah, okay. I don't. Oh, God. They, no, that's on the image I want in my head. Um. <laughs> They would have. They they gave you. Uh, 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 they took you to the washroom to, to to clean up after yourself, Doc. I did say that last week. Yes, but still. Yes, but still. So there's nothing you want to ask. You, there's, there's nothing you want to ask this guy at this stage. No, I do. I uh, just trying to figure out what. Um, so, is that unusual for Rick employees to uh, act? outside the law it's never happened it's never happened before i am completely shocked says uh says zick t we did notice that uh the uh brusk executives from the ca trade house they uh they had anti-shock implants is that a normal thing for brusk well it's a normal thing for executives Oh, okay. Um, yeah. Um, Can we get so directions to... Horizon? Um, does PGC News have a uh, office on the planet? Does PGC News have an office on the planet? That's a damn good question. Let me think. Let me look. Um... No, they don't. I don't think so. Anyway. Um... Well, when you you, reach out, you were going to reach out to them. Yes, I was going to send a. I was, was going to send a hollow a hollow mail. Could you also include uh, my contact information and let them know that uh, we were under contract with uh, the reporter? With uh, Charlotte, yes, I, I can do that for you certainly. No problem at all. Thank you. Um, at that moment, there's a knock on the door, and um, and uh, Zick T says, "Excuse me for a second. and he goes to the door, and there's a uh, a human outside the door in a Rick uniform, and he says something very low low that you don't catch to um, to uh, Zikta, Zikti, I should say. Uh, Zikti glances over his shoulder um, at you and then back to the human and they converse for a, another moment or two and then the uh, and then Zikti uh, closes the door. Okay. I think our reputation has preceded us. Any way we so, can eavesdrop on this conversation? Well, by this stage, you're all in the same room. Okay. Yeah, I was just uh, curious. Sorry, what they said, I should have. I should have mentioned that. No, there's no way. You, there's no way you can eavesdrop on that conversation. Um, Cerise, um, Zikti's body language has changed. Um, Comprehension role. You may have a comprehension role. I'll even give you a bonus because it's your race. No modifier on there, but you can see mm -hmm. I missed. His race? I think you mean his species. His yes, species. Yes, fair enough. Yes, all right. His species. Um, so, says Rick T. Br uh, rather short and br 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 brusque or brisk, whatever you say. Um, would you now like to tell me the real story of why you're here? Did we told him that we were uh, escorting the woman, right? Yeah, you, you said, no, you didn't tell him that because your cover story, if you remember from last week, was that your, your brand new employees um, of... Uh, the transport trade house, Sick Trista. Oh, so the cover story actually worked. That was a surprise. No, 
No, oh, I, I would have, I would have told him what the real thing was early on. Um, so, well, yeah, you? we'll come clean, or okay. I'll come clean. I'll come clean. I don't got a problem with. So you're illegal immigrants uh, with false visas and false passports. Oh. I have no intention of immigrating. Well, even if you're here as tourists, you're not on. You haven't got the right visa. What visa? What's work the different visas. visa? These are work visas, saying that you are working for Sick Trickstar. If you're trying to get onto the planet without the proper visa, we will have to deport you after we fine you and confiscate all your or confiscate a lot of your equipment sick trickstar does not has not advertised off world for any employees and has never even heard of you we uh, so are in the employ of the uh, PGC News, the agent. She arranged things. We just followed with her. We yeah, assume well, she took care of things properly. Well, very conveniently, she's dead. And as you arrived with Lorange, I'm starting to wonder whether you may not be his agents. Well, we have, unfortunately, we have your no security here sucks. And the person who can tell you what you want to confirm is dead because of your inadequacies. You're lucky we were there to take care of things. Yes. Four people, uh, four people dead. Sorry, six so people it's... dead. So, yes. So, so if you're good at your... Why, Hank, don't, don't try and browbeat me madam so if you're good at your job you've already run our names and you know where we've come and what we've done before and what are you doing here on my planet as you said we came for security for Charlotte if you look at our return tickets they were purchased by her well, the return tickets actually don't have the purchaser on them. But I'm sure you can track the transaction, the financial transaction, or are you inadequate at that as well? Okay. Look, here's a, here's a small tip for you. Pissing off the customs agents is not a good idea. He's kind of given us no option. We're going to be yes, deported or... No, he's asked, he's asked for what you're doing here. He wants the truth out of you. And we've told him. But it, well, After accusing you know. us of possibly being spies, right? For well, a bigot. Well, that's how it's looking to him. My point is, okay, seriously, guys, you guys, nobody ever pisses off the cops or pisses off the customs agents because all it does is lead to trouble. So you can see that the, the six of us are together. We have several of us go back all the way to Volturnus. You can see that our tickets, if you can if you can track the financial transactions, were bought together by Charlotte. We were hired by her to get her the interview, which we did on the ship. Where we were going after that was up to her if she felt the deal was done or if she could get more news on the bigot. Second, since you know we're together, why would I put up with his, the dead bigot's philosophy and work for him? You're an off-worlder. You may have been paid enough. All right, look, you stay, you stay here and I'll, uh, I'll go and uh, check out your story further and uh, he leaves he leaves the uh, he leaves the room um, a 
assume you guys are going to wait patiently. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just looking for something. Oh, he's out of the room. <laughs> And I started in public note if you guys want me to add anything to it. Oh, uh, yeah, it's the right. first public. Okay. Okay. So after about an hour, a little over an hour actually, uh, Zik comes back. All right. What we normally do in these situations is jail people without the right paperwork until we can all arrange to have them deported. Your story checks out somewhat. So here's what I'm going to do. So here's what I'm going to do. I will allow you onto the planet uh, and not deport you and not jail you in exchange I need some information to be gathered about this situation. Sounds to I me like we're going to need the right visas. I can arrange that. I can arrange that. If I want to know, I want to know, who is responsible for Lorange's killing and what the motives are. What do we get do the we have assets have on planet here? Because we're completely out of our element right now. And it appears we're looking over our shoulder to be arrested at any point because some other security guy finds us and says something. You know, All right. we need, we need that computers. We need access to information of our own about what went on here to start looking for information. Well, I'll put it this way, uh, if you are who you say you are, your reputations precede you. You should be plenty, um, uh, plenty available, plenty um, capable, good enough to, uh, to acquire stuff like that yourself. I will return um, your, the equipment you brought with you, of course, um, and the, I will provide you with um, the appropriate paperwork in terms of visas to uh, to stay on the stay here on the planet. We'll also need um, food and lodging. No, that's going too far. You can arrange that okay. yourselves just like you would. I am not your queue master. I try. All right. Yeah. You, you, you know what you almost had. You know what you almost tried. You almost tried just to get yourself thrown in, thrown into a cell. That's you free food and guys, lodging. You guys, you guys are not in control here. Okay, you guys are, do not have a winning hand here. Right? You Gee, need to the understand. Don't have a good winning hand either. True. Now this is me talking, not him. All right. Oh, this okay. is the GM talking. Sorry, I should have made it plain. The GM. This is the GM. This is the GM. You guys are not in control. You guys do not have a winning hand. No, you guys are skating a very, very thin edge, all right? Because once you get deported from one planet, that stays on you. That's that 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 information gets transmitted throughout the entire frontier. Okay. Yeah. You guys are not under this guy's thumb, but he can make life incredibly difficult for you here and elsewhere. <laughs> okay. You guys need to realise this. 
he is he is a senior cop on this planet right? and senior cops tend to uh, if they've got problem children tend to uh, inform um, star law rangers and the rest and therefore that information gets pushed out throughout the rest of the frontier okay so officer zikti so let me get this straight you want us to figure out who's the who was responsible for the death of no i want you to i want if you come across information i want you to investigate and come across information any information and relay it back to me just give me a second guys this is me okay uh, i think we're eyes and ears intel gatherers not gonna have to do anything with it per se well he realizes he can't do anything with it so i'm back sorry so um he wants you to gather information he wants you to be a stool pigeon or an informer if you prefer so if um, we so you, he wants us not to look out for the information but if it comes to us to share it no with. no he wa no he wants you to look out for he wants you to look he wants you to go investigate he wants you to investigate okay so uh, on that note one of the things that given all the factions that there seems to be active here on Kratar, um and since they seem to be species based it would probably do us well if in his reports he did not put us together oh yes that would that makes perfect sense as i said there's uh the report will be my report will will will, will, will try and keep your anonymity and uh as um you know secret and that i also don't want for one thing i don't want vislat to know about this arrangement who's he um, referring to that is vislat. the finance and off-world trading company the house house yeah um and if they do find out that we have this arrangement i will be forced to leave you completely on your own what i was and, and, and what i was going to say to you also was that if you ever need to contact me contact me here and i'll see what i can do if you run afoul of a um if you run afoul of of my fellow um um rick employees then you know we'll see what we do that's not a blanket check to go ru and running amok Right. If you have to self, if you have to defend yourselves, by all means, defend yourselves. But if I find out you've started it, I won't be happy. Absolutely. So, so do we have? Can you tell us? Hmm? Go on. Sorry. Can you tell us some more about why you're so concerned about the finance house? yeah we have an agreement sure i'm i wouldn't keep information of such importance from the law enforcement that's what he is okay there have been there has been an upswing in um chaos at chaos k k k k chaos there's been an upswing in klc um attacks on um factories and that um early on they were early on they were sit-in protests and uh, we'd have to go and unlock and, and cut chains off P people chain themselves to equipment things like this lately it's gotten worse in that um there's been some explosions um and there's been a, uh, there's been a few deaths amongst both humans and rusk so um we even raided a uh, a KLC cell we found. We we, we were tipped off about um, and seized 
a whole bunch of off-world weapons that had obviously been smuggled in. Um, they're all, all the weapons were made by um, the Steiser Arms Company of Madley Star. Um, and what was the name of that how company? They got here. Hey, the company, uh, that was the Steiser, S-T-Y-S-O-R, Steiser Arms Company of Madley Star. Um, they certainly weren't registered. Uh, they were obviously smuggled in, and we don't know how, because they weren't registered without, you know, on the on the firearms registered database. Right? Things are incredibly unsettled. By chance, you don't know if uh, Stizor is a Streel company, do you? Um, I don't think so. The the computer probably would know. Um, I can get you. I can. I can let you use the Starship, the Starport computer to to look things up like that in a moment, if you like. Um, yeah. Um, so. Uh, so yeah. Um, things are very unsettled. We need to get this settled down. Having Lorange killed is just going to settle things more. Um, and basically, I need somebody. We need somebody deniable on the ground to get the information that we as RIC employees cannot get. In all honesty, I know I came the heavy a while ago, but I need your help. If you are who you say you are, you're just the type of people to figure this out. And I'll do everything I can to keep you out of to keep you out of out of trouble as long as you keep your heads down. If you don't make it too blatantly obvious that I can't, that I can't help you. And he's obviously worried. All right? Yes, he came the heavy a while ago because that's part of his job. And everything I said as a GM is true. You don't want to piss off the senior cops of the place. But he is actually pretty desperate, or he's starting to seem pretty desperate for your help, for any help. I'm still, I don't know if, I, I, maybe I didn't catch it, but did he answer or did he expound upon um, why he doesn't want the finance house to know that he is asking us to do this, that we're involved with him? They are the finance house and off-world trade. Yeah. yeah. Who You're smuggle about stuff this. in, off-world trade. You're talking about this, Lat, is, is the thing. Um, yes, this lat is a suspect, probably even a prime suspect, he says, because of the smuggled weapons. So it was implied. It wasn't actually said explicitly until now. Okay, okay I just want to make sure. Yeah, no, no we're, cool. not, cool. we're not thrilled with uh, somebody who effectively was under our protection being murdered. And uh, I'm not thrilled with uh, Lagrange's attitude or perspective. And how do you feel about it all, Miss? He says, he says, turning to the human female. Um, yeah, I met him on a ship over, and he wasn't the nicest of people. Uh, he doesn't really have my support either. And what You're about really you, sir? There. You are a bit soft, Chip, then. And what about you, sir? He says, turning to Doc. I'd like to be out of this situation and free to go about my own business. The sooner the better. Yeah, right. Uh, he doesn't get the... Uh, he doesn't get the opinion of the Azir in all the two uh, trailer sites. Um, what um, what about the other races on planet? How have they have they, have they taken any significant sides on these uh, on this turmoil? Well, we don't have many 
uh, is the Eons, and we don't have many uh, Dralocytes on, on planet. Um, virtually all the Vrask and a vast majority of the humans are quite happy to work with each other. Um, it's only the fanatics in the KLC that seem to be causing problems. Do you question? know, is the KLC, do, do you know how they're financed? No. No, we know, we know very little about the KLC. Um, like most effective terrorist groups, they work in cells. Um, and you bust one cell, you might get a lead to another, but often you don't. Um, the, the cell we took the weapons out refused to surrender, and we actually had to, um, unfortunately, um, terminate them. Um, they went down fighting. I lost one of my best men, one of my best human men in the fight. So, in the firefight. So, but yes, um, this it's a small group. We're, like most terrorist organisations, we don't know how small or how big. We don't know who the finance who finances them. Obviously, you know, they, they, the, the weapons they got were from off-world. Um, whether that was a direct, a direct, uh, a, a direct um, donation by the Sti by Steiser Arms, or whether somebody purchased Steiser Arms in an, in an effort to throw us off the trail, um, we don't know. certainly is a sticky situation it is indeed so what about um, if, we're, if we're to find out more information we need to if if they don't come to us we need to put ourselves in positions to be approached are there cities or bars or gathering spots that you suspect are KLC hangouts no no, we would have we would have raided any one any any one of those. Um, the logic, the, the the theory we have at the moment is because uh, the KLC are against Rusk, they're probably human, and um, probably disenfranchised humans, uh, which would mean looking in the slum. Yeah, they're more likely to recruit from the slum and the slum and lower class areas um, of the of of the cities. Um, main city being um, uh, Gons. Bloody odd names. Uh, Go uh, goes off city, which is um, the near yeah, which is nearby. Um, there are other cities around the place, but. Um, Trickstar and um, well, not Trickstar. Sorry, Kazak. Uh, Qatar is one of the harder city, harder planets to get around um, because of um, the atmosphere. Um, and as the GM, I'm going to say to you now: Do you guys need a refresher on that? Uh, yes, please. All right. Well, it was in the. It was in the, the, the background report I emailed everybody two weeks ago, but basically the atmosphere over most of the planet is too thin for anyone to breathe without, um, uh, without a breathing apparatus. Um, and so the cities tend to be in the uh, valleys and therefore isolated from each other somewhat. Um, there, is a, there is a monorail that circles the, the planet you can see that on that um, tourist map. Yep. Um, so, um, so yeah. Um, map 61, 6.1, sorry. Yeah. Um, you can blow, blow that up if you need to. You might need to blow it up to have it to read what it says, but that's obviously a tourist brochure. Uh, resolution's too low to read it. Is it? Yeah, Sorry. to read the cities. Hang on, hang on a sec. I'll read it. For, do you want me to read it for you? Uh, you can summarize it. 
if oh, there's any other well, info. Basically, for tourist brochures, you can imagine what they're like. I'll send you. I'll send everybody out that. Um, I'll email out the full the full size version. Um, it was way too big for fancy grounds to handle, um, so I had to drop it down to that size to get it in the system. Yeah. Okay. So, um, but I'll, I'll get you that. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, there's a monorail, and there's the Gaza City is the main capital of the planet, and very close to the original landing site of the of the humans when they landed here. Is so, that to the uh, west of Yatiz Sea? Uh, hang on, I just closed it. I just closed it down. Sorry, what was that? Is is the city that we're in? To yes. The left of yes, uh, yes. the Yatiz Sea. Yeah, the Yatiz Sea. That that's Gaza. That yeah, that's that's Gaza City and the spaceport and all everything else like that. And obviously, if you look closely, there's a it, that blows Lord it out. City. Yeah, it goes that blows it out to uh, that circle in the bottom left hand corner. Um, yeah, Starport. Yeah, Starport. You can see the different areas of the city. Anyway, so um, uh, Zik, uh, not Zik. Yeah, Zik. Um, so, yeah, you know, basically says more likely to be in the working class, lower class areas of the of the city than than the high class business districts. You can see the bis I think you can see the business districts on that map. If you blow it up a little bit, maybe not. Yeah, I might have to get you the proper map. Yeah, um, it's too pixelated. It's too pixelated. Yeah, it's the problem with these things. Um, anyway, but I can lead you through it. Um, so yeah, um, but, but the fact that the, the fact that the cities are so isolated and only really available by air car or or uh, you know from city to city or via the mono or the the monorail. The train and the monorail, by the way, is not the monorail out the front of the of the um, um, starport. spaceport. Spaceport, starport. Um, the one out the starport is basically a commuter, a commuter monorail to get around the city, to get around this this city. The transcontinental, whatever they call it, I can't remember what they call it now. Um, that's not what I want. Uh, it's that one. Transglobal monorail, obviously, is the one that goes around the globe. Um, so yeah, okay. Does that make all? Does it all make all that make sense? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The basic the basic idea is yes, there might be cells in all in in all cities, but the cells that are causing the most problem in Goza City, which is the ones that are causing the most problems, are lo probably local to Goza City, or as local as you can get. So yeah. Is that yeah I hope that helps everybody yeah absolutely all right any other questions for Zik um the only other thing is is there a global 911 or uh, transpo do, yep. or our transponders do they tie in whatever yeah 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 you're you, you can tie you, you the that is pretty well on every civilized planet of the frontier, that's pretty well standard across the frontier, and most comms tie in automatically. It's because it's, it's the same code, same number. Okay. It's not nine. It's not nine one one, but it's the. You know what I mean? I know. Um, I know. Because um, I, I could have said triple O, because that's what it is, is here in Australia, or triple nine in the UK. Yeah. What is it in Japan, Paul? The opposite one one nine. 119, there you go. You know, so every country's got its own emergency code. But in the frontier, it's the one code, just not 999. 666? Oh, I don't know what it is. I can't, it's, probably, it's probably a five digit number. Um, but it doesn't matter what it is. It's just. It's just right, right. Um, so Zick hands you his card. Um, a senior inspector is his rank uh, within the company, which is within a police force. And it's got his personal com number on the back of it. His no, sorry, not his personal com number. It's got his com number for the, for, yeah, for here. Because his this work is his phone TV station, his work phone basically. So if you need to contact me, contact me on that number. He says. All right. Any other questions? Anything else you want to yeah. do? Yeah. Including, in, yeah, go on. Is there any chance we can get maybe a lot number or even a serial number from one of these weapons that was illegally brought into the planet? No, they're all in. They're all in um, uh, the main headquarters um, 
uh, evidence room, and I've got no reason to open it to have a look see. I, I don't want um, one of them. I just want a serial number. No, I know. Number I know what you want a serial number off them. I know, but no, um, but no. There's no. There's no chance. Of, there's no way we get we get it without alerting people who don't need to be alerted. Shall we? Shall we say? Now, um, as I was saying, GM saying, uh, is there anything else you guys want to ask? Anything you want to bring up? Do you want to have it? Do you want to do some computer research on the star on the Starport computer before you go anywhere? Yeah, I think we want to do computer research, Kat. Um, the other question is, what type of visas are we going to get, and um, so that we can figure out what we need to act like? Well, the easiest one to tourist visas. Is everybody good with tourist visas, and do they have an expiration? Yes, they have an expiration of the. Uh, they have an expiration um, of um, uh, three weeks' time, but they're also marked with an asterisk. Meaning. Meaning that that they need approval before you can use them to leave. And that would be obviously um, six. Um, approval. <laughs> All right. Well, we our return tickets are for five days out, or yeah. whatever they ended up being. Well, he could, he, Zick could probably change. Zick could probably get those changed if you ask him at the appropriate point in time. Right. You may right. get everything done in five days. You may not. Yep. So just to briefly summarize, we're talking about a segmented terrorist network recruited from the lower classes with no known meeting places. At this stage, yes. I suspect as long as we stay separated that um, Cat will be Cat and Mock will be approached by somebody at least wanting to know what happened. So we need to get a plan for that and we need to stay sp specially separated. All right, Babu. Yeah. Either you're taking your clothes off or I'm putting yours on. Hang on, hang on. Yes, that's not a bad idea. Remember, though, that, that according to information you've been given so far, that most of the planet mingles without, any tr without too much trouble. Okay? Yes, if you go to a bar that you suspect might be a TLC place or something like that, it might be an idea for the humans and the rusts to... to, 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 to not be together, but as as a general rule of thumb, you should be fine wandering around together. Right, right. I'm not worried about that, but yeah, I don't think I'll give Cat a piggyback ride into the bar. No, no. that's no. That's, well, and it is a human terrorist oh, organization, so I think that only the humans should be up front and center. Yeah. Okay. From a from a from a from a, a game with percentage point of view, having the party split all the time is a pain in the ass. Okay. Right. I'm just saying uh, we would check in separate, five, you know, two minutes apart or five minutes apart, and we're not going to travel in the same air, you know, same monorail. That way, if we're being observed, Cat and Doc and probably one other person, maybe Jazz, and then the two Dralocytes and myself, we travel like that. Yeah, just okay, different cars enough. or different yeah, parts no, of enough. the same car. Fair enough. Fair enough. Or different parts of the same car. Okay. No one. So that if, well, we're being well, observed, if we can support we don't each other, but together. not necessarily be seen with each other. Exactly. But not go and not separate and go to different places. All right. So, um, gentlemen, ladies, um, does that all sound good? Do we want to stay here in town and then we can... We'll, Cat, you can do research on the computers, and actually I can do some too now that I have some skill. Um, and then we'll find a place to stay and figure out what the sites are and wander around until we get approached or head back in so many days, in five days. I find all this violence repugnant, but... Uh... I do think we're here already for five days, so it hurts us. Doesn't hurt us to at least look into the matter. Okay. Well, um, Zick hands over a set of uh, tourist visas uh, and your 
other official paperwork um, and um, ask you to follow him where he leads you to um, another room where your pistols are given back to you where your defenses are given back to you when and where your melee weapons are given back to you plus any other equipment you have brought with you to uh, so no rifles is that correct no rifles and no, no. grenades uh, sleep grenades, doze grenades, no offensive grenades. Non-lethal grenades, cut. Non-lethal grenades. So yes, Babu, they hand you back your force hats, and when they do, <laughs> the human and the Rusk who are d d working together d in, the, in this part of the building to do this, both give you an odd look. You broke up, Matt. Did I? Sorry. No, I didn't. Just you. They're just jealous. I would say I smell, I smile at them, but I guess I don't really have a mouth. Wait, um, wait, is that all you carry? You just carry the force axe? No, but he carries the force axe and other things, but the force axe is one of those, yeah. What? He's not the only mm. one with the force axe. Who else has got a force axe? I do. I do. Oh, okay. Okay. I Everybody might have some forceps. <laughs> nice one, Doc. <laughs> Very well done. Um, okay, everybody, everybody who has a force axe gets a funny look from the from the human and the rusk rift personnel uh, who hand them back to you. Do we know why that is? Force axes are the most lethal melee weapon around. They're great for chopping wood. Oh, that is true. Both are true. Uh, great for know chopping that. wood. Dear, dear, dear. Camping is a passion of ours. Mm-hmm. So yes. All right. Um. And uh, and then then uh, tick. Uh. Sorry, Zik. Double Z I K. Zik. Uh. Offers you the use of uh one of the Starport computer terminals. So cat, put out whatever you want. I'll just type into chat various queries that I'm thinking. You know. Well, Kat, you're the computer expert, so... Yeah, I don't know really if I can assist it or not. I have only one rank. Hmm. Kat? It, it really... Can you not hear me? Yeah, I got you. Um, as far as skills goes, it doesn't really matter. As long as somebody has operate computer, it doesn't really doesn't matter at all. Uh, so... Well, in... uh, 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 hang on, let me just put you up there. It doesn't matter for public information. If you guys want to start searching for for uh, proprietary information, then it probably will make a difference because you've got things like um, um, uh, you, you'll probably have to worry about security on the files. So you have to break the security first and things like that. So. Okay, um, but but to start with, yeah, I mean, if you if you want to if you want to look for a if you want for example if you wanted to look for a uh, a piece of proprietary information, then there would be a, a, a basic computer operate computer gather information whatever. Um, it will get, an operate computer would probably say, yeah, there's a file here, but it's it's scrambled or locked or or hidden or whatever. But at that point, then you, you start pulling out the big guns in terms of bypass security and all that type of stuff, or whatever security you're going to be using. Well, whatever skills you're going to be using, sorry. So, in chat, I'm just throwing up things that if there's public information on, and then everybody can read that. And then if you read something that you a clue you want to follow up on, type it in chat. And then, when we need to, Cat can try to dive deeper. Uh, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec, give me a sec. I also suggest that we all pick up um, whatever type of rebreather or respirator or whatever they sell on planet so that 
if we end up in a low oxygen environment like the monorail breaks down <laughs> we, don't, we don't die who said you're even going on the trans the, the trans global monorail in the first place but yeah i take your point um there's nothing on the explosion on the moon at all nothing in the news nets nothing anywhere okay um tourist sites yeah tourist sites uh, tourist sites, uh, there's quite a few. See the lovely uh, uh, Gorsa City, travel the Trans Global Monorail, you know, see some of the other places around the place. Um, nothing really that catches your eye of, or anything else like that. Uh, that would be in. Give me a second. Uh, no. Uh, the Jeddis, the, the Jeddis district. Uh, the worst slums are in the Jeddis district, which is uh, the Jeddis district contains the starport uh, and is also home to numerous transient plus indigenous humans and brusque who have opted to stay outside mainstream brus society. This is according to some of the tourist information you've been given. Um, um, you've also got the starport itself. Uh, the business district, the industrial district, um, uh, the, uh, I'm having trouble pronouncing it, but I'll give it a go, uh, Pester Cooper, hang on, district, <laughs> there's no space there, there either, that's one word, um, that, according to tourist information you've been pulling up, uh, that's where most of the uh, hoity-toity live. It's the high-class area of town. Um, and you've also got the Flaust district, which is the majority, which is basically the majority of the middle-class area. Um, uh, the monorail, the local monorail, um, is run by uh, Six Trick Star Trade House and links all areas of the city. Uh, trains run every 15 minutes, and a ticket valid for a day's unlimited travel within the city costs a single credit okay um, you do get some information on you do get some information on uh, da, 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 the arms company you asked me about give me a second uh, let me pull it up for you um, let, me, let me let me take this opportunity to rebuild some of my stuff while I'm doing this will you Nope, not what I wanted. Because I don't have an entry. Now it's what I wanted. There we go. Give me a sec, guys, just to get this sorted. Dooby 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 doo. Is Matt's mic crackling for anybody else? It's kind of like doing a repetitive thunk thunk yeah, thunk. Yeah, that. And there is static. Maybe that's his dialysis machine. Thunk -a thunk -a thunk. -a. No, it's my. It's the way I've got my sound system set up, and I've got it. I've still got to try and work out how to fix it. The other thing, are we interested in any demographics of the different cities? Wondering if maybe there's a mostly human city? Uh, no, or there's town? not. Um, most of the cities are actually... Uh, were, were, um, obviously, the early the cities were, were originally built by humans. All the cities were originally built by humans, but the Vrusk have um, uh, moved in, you know, um, and most of the cities on Gorza, well, most of the cities, and especially Gorza City, the capital, are um, primarily uh, a, a mixture of um, Rusk and um, human. Human. There you go. What about uh, those three cities that are not linked on the monorail? 
Um, let's just try to see not. Let me turn the monitor off. Give me a sec. Hang on. We're going to pull the monitor all back up. Um, Three southern cities. Yeah, no, yeah, no. Yeah, I, I got them. I spot them. They're the ones from down the south. There's two down the southern hemisphere. Um, they're, um, they're not linked by the trans... Uh, the, the trans global monorail, true, but they are they are still linked by air car and they're still a mixture of brusk and human. Hey, uh, Matt, when you get the time, uh, can you get us all the because their Artemis research is Troza Finance, those are com the I companies. Know, I know, there's a whole bunch of stuff, there's a whole bunch of stuff which I gave you which I lost when I lost the campaign. Yeah, that, that's what I was going to bring up all the, just the companies and all their shares. Yeah, yeah, well, the ones you have information on so far, yeah. Oh, I think we researched um, every single one of them. I don't. Yeah, well, I can't remember because, and I just trust me, I'll get them to you as soon as I can. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I know Artemis Research was one, and I know uh, Estadona Finance was one that you actually did know about. Um, but I've got to get this. There's, there's, there's two or three pages in the original module of data dot data drops like this. I had them all loaded ready to go and share when 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 and if you guys pull anything up but anyway i've got to get back to it so i certainly will get back to it but yeah um do you want artemis and estona right now or can i wait you can wait oh right, okay so that's what you find about about um uh, let's see uh, yes it is doc uh and as far as police actively patrolling, yeah, they seem to, they, they're pretty good at actively patrolling. The crime is up a bit, but it's it, it compared to the rest of the city. But it's not something you'd have to worry about per se. Is it violent crime, or is it sort of more like, for lack of a better description, soft crime? It's more soft crime than anything else. Uh, occasionally, you'll get a you occasionally you'll get a bar fight. And occasionally in those bar fights, you might get somebody take a knife wound or a glassing or something like that. But but it's certainly not it's certainly not Chicago in the 1920s. Put it that way, or 1930s, I should say. Put it that way. No, 20s was right or either. Yeah, it's certainly not like that. Although it has been getting worse since the trouble started. Right, but it's still not that. It's still yeah, it's worse than it was. But yeah. What about air car rental? How expensive is an air car to rent? Um, there's no listings on the computer for rentals. Is there a symbol or like a drink or something that symbolizes uh, resistance? So, for example, you know, Cuba Libre would be the, the drink you would want to order in, in a in a bar that sort of wants to resist or like you know in Ireland if you raise your glass and cheer the 32 counties of Ireland yeah no there's nothing there's nothing that like that that Zick knows about so you know anybody else have anything they want to research I'm musing on it Where's the big one? Is there a hospital in this Jettis area? Uh, no. There's one just outside um, in one of the next areas over. Next, sit, this is city, er, city areas, by the way, over. But no, there's nothing, there's, you know, which that one, the one in the next area over, which is the, hang on, which area did I say it was? Uh, hang on a sec. Hold up. <sighs> Sorry, boys. I told you it was going to be a messy, a messy one today. That is our right. kind of dig, dig, digging a little bit into kind of sort of details, but there, there's a method to the madness. But yeah, you know, if sure you don't know, you don't know. No worries. No, 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 no. That's all right. I've got. To, I've, I've, there's plenty of information around. I've just got to find it all again. Um. So. If you if you look at that if you look at the tourist map map six one six point one, all right, and if you look at the circle, right, of the blow up of um, Gozorf, Gozorf City, all right, I know it's you can't read this, but I'm I'm going to give you one, all right. Um, the starport is the red hex. The red dot. The, yeah, the red dot. Okay, Jedis, the area of Jedis surrounds. Um, the area 
up to uh, that big junction uh, of the of the monorail up to the uh, eleven o'clock towards eleven o'clock from the from yep. the um from that all right. The industrial area is um, the three dot is the three dots is, is sorry the two dots plus the two uh, border dots uh, to the at around about eight o'clock on the, if you're using a clock that's the industrial area okay that makes sense yeah that, that real long name yeah yeah that's the industrial district that real long name all right um, above the industrial district and filling in a whole bunch of stuff including almost to the end of the um, the monorail that's the voice district district okay which is the middle class district the upper class district goes from about mid, uh, about 12 o'clock across to about 1.32 and the, and the lake. That's the, that's the upper class district. All right. And then um, in the middle, almost in the middle of the clock, but if, 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 if this was a clock, almost in the middle of the clock, but just slightly towards 12 o'clock, is the business district. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah, are you guys able to see the outline I just did? I'm not looking at the map, but no, no. How I kind of redrew the dist redrew the dr district lines. Nope. Uh, I don't see it. I'll just okay. No, just you. Um. Anyway, so basically, um, the Jetta districts towards the south, the industrial districts towards the southeast. All right. The upper class district is right at the top at the north. The business district district is just south of the just south of the upper class area and the middle class district is everything else. Does that make sense? Yeah, I'm yep. spelling I'm spelling it J E T T I S. Do I need to correct that? For what? The, the name of the district. Uh Jedis is J E D S I S. Thank you. And the Foist district is F I O U S T. And I'll get you a better map for next session, guys. Sorry about that. No worries. Uh, but at least you've got a rough idea where things are now, I hope. Um, yeah, does that make... Yeah, I hope that makes You sense. should be able to see my notes, guys. Yeah. Anyway, it's all good. So my thinking is. Uh, By the way, you... sorry, go on, go on, go on, go on, Doc. I shouldn't have interrupted. Sorry. No, no worries. Uh, so I, my my thinking is that uh, if in fact this group is attempting to uh, build a long-lasting, sustainable movement, uh, they would need access to medical supplies. So the doc is kind of uh, a little reluctant, but he could set the budget crew the budget crew up as a medical supply thing with access to off-world resources and see if we can uh, attract any mosquitoes. It's a possibility. Yeah, I suspect that somebody will approach Cat and Doc just because we were on the same ship as La Lagrange just to find out and then that may be a, a good cover story for Doc is yeah we were talking to Lagrange about uh, you know the need for medical supplies for those less fortunate you know the humans on planet yeah it's one way doing it I suppose so I, th I think that's definitely good. Um, I don't think we have any direct leads. I think, I think they're going to have to come to us. Yeah, that's why I was thinking of just a reasonable story to kind of, at least, instead of just driving around and actively knocking on doors, etc. Yeah, well, no, I, I think can turn stuff good. up as well. Now, listen. The other thing you guys need to realize, especially the, and the computer guys do realize this, but I'm, I'm going to make it explicit is that different obviously different computer systems 
again may again have different different information on them depending on what they are all right yeah um, so just because you've done a uh, an information gather about a certain topic on one type of computer system or one company's computer system or, or public computer system or whatever doesn't mean there isn't other information out there that's on other systems and maybe and maybe and, and maybe give you other information so on okay. that note Matt the mm -hmm. information that we got from the ship those subjects if there's yeah. distinctly different information on the starport computer we'd want to check that all right well it's, it's, that's going to take me a while to load up guys so absolutely um, absolutely you can email it to us later we'll give it to you here later um, um, so yeah but having said that all right um, knowing what you guys have already researched and remember try and remember what 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 you have already researched um, I'll tell you now that um, there's uh, a restricted entry for Estona Finance on the Starport computer. Yeah, that's the, that's the only one that comes up with, it, with anything anything outside of what you've been looking for so far. Okay. Yeah, I know. There's a link to be made with all the companies. And when we're talking restricted entries, we're talking uh, if we're looking to do bypass or defeat security. I think defeat security is like hours. There's no way that we'd be able to do it at this tournament. Right? Uh, defeat security... Um basically means decoding the restrictions that are on the system okay yeah that takes uh, hours I believe. it does take hours you can do it now if you want um, I mean that I, do we have enough access to be able to do that if we sit here for 10 hours is that going to be fine well it might not take 10 hours I don't know how long it takes can you remember anyone remember how long it actually takes I think it's 1d10 or something like that. I yeah. can look it up. Could you be so kind? Thank you. Defeat security, 1d10 out. Yeah. And bypass is when you actually re rewire the computer. You're not going to you're not going to do that. Yeah, that takes one to ten minutes. Yeah, but that's rewiring the computer, and it's also a lot harder to do too from memory. It's more that you can only ever do it once, and if you fail, it bad things happen. Yeah, that too. <laughs> um, and failing the roll will set off every alarm the computer has. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so I don't know what you I don't know what you want you guys want to do. Whether you want to spend that time, you can spend that time if you want. And that's just to get into their information about them. I would like to know um, the um, like about the executives of the different uh, companies. But it's not listed publicly. Okay. They're not public companies. They're not listed publicly. Sorry, Doc, I've been typing away. I, I haven't been watching the, the chat box. Hang on. Uh, no, no worries. I think, um, Yep. Okay. Kat, this is your call, but I don't know if there's any way to do any types of cutouts or some, you know, access iters so that if you do make a failed roll, we don't we at least have some chance of not being identified. Oh, it's public information. But if you're hacking the Estonia finance restricted data. Well, it, yeah. Um, generally, cat is generally I, unless they know you go unless you give it away, and I don't think I mean cat's not cat's not cat's a good enough individual not to give it away. I think, don't you? 
probably. So I don't think that's a major issue, do you? It's just a matter. Do you want to spend the time? I suppose is the question. Yeah, I'm not a concern. Hey, what was that? I missed that. Somebody broke up. Right now, we don't. Time's not a concern. We've got all the time we need. We might as well try to get as much information as we can before we set out. Uh, yep, sure. Okay. Um, it's a 40% penalty to break this particular set of codes. Uh, yep, cool. Um trying to get into this site but that looks like it's not working so i'm just i was trying to make sure that my uh skill was uh, right this skill was right do you want the description the, the, for defeat security the shot the shot yes please because the site's up and running mate i'll copy and paste it okay It's not a computer security, it's a program security. It's a... okay, so... And so there it's... is no difference, it's the same skill. Okay. Alright, but it, it's... yeah. So do you want to do any, do you want to see if there's an alarm on it or anything else like that? Uh, yeah, sure. Uh, what is... Okay. Again, what? it's a 40%, it's a 40% penalty. In this case... So do you want to disable the security override first, which is the alarm? Well, we don't know if there's an alarm there. Oh, okay. Uh, which skill is it to figure out whether there is an alarm? Uh, hang on, I'm gonna pull it, let me pull it up. Display information tells you what progs there are. Yeah, there's, and oh, what files there, or what files uh, there. It'd be a display info role, mate, at that minus 40% penalty. You're not writing a prog, you're not operating or repairing a No. Okay, no, um, there is no security lock on that file, but the file has been scrambled, so we'll need a, um, uh, you might, you gotta buy, break, you gotta bypass, you gotta break the, the, the thing, which is, as I said, a, you know. Are you right with the role, or do you want me to explain it further, because <laughs> I'm, blab I'm blabbling here. Uh, yeah, no, no, I was just trying to make sure that my skill level was right. Uh, now I'm in, I'll just check. For what display information? How uh, it was so high? For defeat security, the one that we we're worried about failing. Um, yeah. Half logic plus thirty-five percent, and then the level. Does it look good? Uh huh. Half logic would be 37 and a half. Rounded up. So, 38. plus 35%, plus 40. So, 113%. And it's 113. Cool. Got okay, it. so you, you got it. Yep. Yep. All right. That's the information you find. Well, that's the relevant information you find. Hmm. What do you know? They have money in the trade house. I had a feeling. And the mining companies. Yep.
So, gentlemen, what do you want to do now? And Artemis Research is part of both Tisser and Destronza. Yeah, find some place to stay. Uh, I, should we go stay in the slums, go to the middle class area to stay? This is coming out of our pocket, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah. The park is looking rather That's appealing. Right. God, you're a cheapskate. Surely you have money, Doc. What do you spend it on? For the right reason. Stem does. That too. Do, do you have a body comp? So, yeah, I say we pick up a hotel near the hospital. You know, where, so probably middle class. So you're going, you're ready to leave the, the spaceport, are you? I think so. How are you going to leave it? On foot or are you going to do some other ways? Monorail. If that takes us to... Uh, oh. One square equals two miles, I think. Two, yeah, is that right? It's one two, M, by it way, says two M, so I assume it's miles. Yeah. Even I'm though everything else is in kilometers. Well, it might be kilometers, mate. I don't know. Uh, hold up. Let me. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, two kilometers for one hatch. Mm-hmm. I mean, just from my travel experience, I'm gonna assume that the hospital is near a monorail exit, and I'm gonna assume that within one or two exits of the city monorail is going to be multiple hotels that are within a block of the monorail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so well, we should we all buy a monorail ticket? Pardon me, sorry. Because I'm assuming we're not walking. Yeah, I'd take the monorail. Alright, then. All right. So knock off, a, knock, off a, knock off a credit each, please. You guys right? Yep. Yep. yep sorry, I just, I, everyone went silent for a second. I thought I'd lost you all. Trying to do it math to subtract one credit. <laughs> You're not having that much trouble, are you? No. I mean, clearly having typing spell, uh, problems typing things correctly. Yeah, for obviously. I mean, have you okay, seen look, his spelling? Mm-hmm. Have you seen mine? I actually failed English at high school. Which is terrible. I don't know. I just give I just give my dad a hard time about his type. Yeah, I do a lot of typos. There are certain key keystrokes I never get right. And that's why I don't use the fancy spancy keyboard position. I just type. I don't have my key my fingers on F and J. Alright, so, um, you climb aboard the monorail, um, um, which is the area four, I think, from memory, in the starport. Um, I think it's area four. Yeah, that's the monorail terminus. Um, the um, symbol of the sick trickstar trade house um, is um, prominently, prominently displayed. Um, you've only got to wait about 10 minutes before the, an, the, another car pulls in. Um, 
the track by the way is about five meters off the ground a fuel tank um, so you're all climbing in the same car the car is big enough to take everybody and still leave a bit of space for you to separate out yourselves as you asked as you requested you that you do um, and um, heads in towards uh, Gosoff City um, Two shakes. Actually, I've already got it. Don't worry. Hang on. Um, is that the one? No, that's not it. I think that's it. No, that's not it either. Don't you love it when you get things right? Uh, the monorail car is um, quite, um, it's very, very clean, yes, it's very, very clean, but it's, uh, uh, um, and uh, has cloth uh, cushion seats. Um, ben, have you been on the Brisbane uh, train system? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit like that. It's a bit like one of those cars, not quite as long as one of those cars. Fantastic but, um, comparison, Matt. Well, it's good for Ben. <laughs> yeah, fantastic comparison. Go to hell. Yeah, uh, yeah cloth seats, uh, pretty comfortable, very clean. Um, there's no, uh, there's no graffiti um, or anything else on the inside of the car, and you didn't spot any on the outside either. Um, so uh, it's not too bad. Um, so the car leaves the starport. Um, this, and as you leave the starport and follow along the um, the uh, the monorail, um, you uh, note uh, the area around what you can see um, around the monorail line um, is what you'd expect for uh, for the lower class working um, area of of a of a city. Um, it's not quite as clean as some of the other city, some of the other areas of other cities you've seen. Um, some of the buildings aren't aren't quite in as good a repair. Um, it, it's not a slum, but it's definitely lower class. Um, you know, the the houses and apartment blocks are, are packed in quite tightly. Um, the pubs look rough, um, and things like that. Does that does that make sense to everybody? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so as you leave the starport um, and travel along, um, sounds of angry voices drift uh, for up from up from the surrounding streets. You can hear them even through the walls of the, of the monorail car. Um, you are pulling to the first station um, uh, and um, the doors open. Um, no, you know, no one else gets on the monorail car. After a moment, the monorail, the doors close, and the monorail moves on. Um, not long after that, um, you spot um, a large group of milling uh, humans or humans milling about. Uh, you can see uh, they're in, in a general drift towards the starport. Um, uh, and you can actually hear shouts of, this murder will not go unavenged. These lat murderers will all die. And the KLC cannot be crushed. Um, there are no signs, though. Um, it's, it's, it's not so much a protest as an angry mob. Okay. Um, you also spot two ground uh, transports. Uh, uh, um, and um, a group of Rusk who are obviously wearing riot gear. They can be seen at the back of the crowd. Uh-huh. Um, so, yeah, look, it looks, it looks like it, the word of Lagrange's uh, murder has gotten out. 
Um, sorry, Ben, can you quick run me a quick D10, please? Yeah, okay. Uh, dec 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 decrypting that file took you three hours, okay? Yep. Um, yeah. Um, all of a sudden, um, a rocket shoots out from the crowd and hits one of the ground transports, engulfing it in flames. Um, you can also hear the sound of automatic weapons breaking out and a few of the rusk in right gear fall, clutching at their bodies. At that, uh, at that moment, the crowd surges forward. Am I looking at the back? I must be wrong. Uh, the crowd surges forward to war, uh, to forwards and engulfs the rusk and everything else. Well. Bummer for them. Yeah, lad. Yeah, yikes. Um, yikes. Okay. Um, the monorail car pulls into the next station, which is a junction station, um, at that first junction station. Um, yeah, yeah, with me on the mat, on the, if you've got those who are concerned. Um, and pulls in and stops, and the doors open, and an automatic voice in Pangal says, Please exit the car. This car terminates at this station. Please exit the car. This car terminates at this station. Well, we get out. Yeah, we get out. We get out. Okay. Um, you can hear sirens in the distance. Um, and looking as you exit the... I'm assuming you exit the, ter the, ter the terminal station. Yeah. Well, I would stay. I'd stay near the terminal exit. I don't think we want to wander away. All right. Well, um, there's quite a few um, uh, emergency vehicles, both um, uh, obviously medical and obviously security, are heading out toward heading towards the general area where you saw the. The, the rusk um, get overrun and you also um, pardon me uh, you also um, see quite a few uh, humans uh, and I mean young angry men uh, not so young angry men um, heading that way as well I'm okay if we don't get involved, gentlemen. It's, but tell me if you differ. I, if Doc or Cat, whatever you two want to do, you're you're our front runner. <laughs> oh my, saying it. Yeah. Um, probably not getting involved for now is better. Um, we don't want to get on the wrong side of our police train. Okay. Well, after about five minutes, um, a Nazarian in the uniform of uh, the monorail company, Sick Trickstar, or Sick, as was called from now, um, comes up to you and says, um, Excuse me, uh, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm shutting up the monorail uh, terminal. You'll have to leave, I'm afraid. Is there a way we can get a taxi, or how do we get out of here? Well, normally, I, I, normally the, the Yadirian says, uh, well, normally, yeah, you could probably um, get a taxi. Um, my advice at the moment, though, um, um, I've just heard over the... Um, I've just heard over the... Uh, uh, communication system that that there are riots uh, breaking out throughout um, the Jeddah's district, which is why the monorail terminal is closing. Um, your best bet might be to, depending on where you're heading, um, follow the monorail line on the ground on foot, um, 
and try and avoid um, what's going on. Um, this is me, I mean, not him. I just, yeah. So, yeah. Um, Do you know any place nearby where we can hole up and be safe? Well, the Yazirian looks you up and down for a moment and says, oh, if I were you, I'd be leaving the area, leaving the district. Um, if you follow either of the, the lines, and he points to the right handmost line and the middle line, he said that'll take you into the first district, and I, I can't see anyone rioting in first. Um, if you, you, you're a fraction unlucky, because the next, the next stop would have taken you right to the border of, of Jettis and, and first. Um, unfortunately, you got caught, uh, what is it, uh, about, about three kilometres short. Still, you should be able to cover three kilometres pretty quickly. You look pretty fit, he says, with a smirk on his face. All right. Well, guys, I say we. I suggest we uh, follow. And I am looking to see what pat what con programs I have on my holo screen. Sure. Do you have any programs on your holo screen? Other than camo, I don't know. I don't think you have any, but camo, do you? No, I, can't I just have a camo you. loop. Yeah, camo loop. So I'll Which do, I'll do a camo loop and. Okay. Sure. So, um, are you heading? Uh, which way? You, which, which monorail line are you heading? You, you, you're heading the right-hand one, one or the central one? What, uh, are we kind of at that, that V, or at that? Yeah, you're triangle? at that first junction. You're at that first junction station. All right, which is the second station from the airport, from the spaceport. So we can we can go. Northwest, we can go north and then northeast, or we could go due west. And he recommended yeah. either middle or or. He, he, rec right. he recommended northwest or northeast. Uh, west will take you into the industrial district, so you certainly won't get a hotel or anything there. Well, does he know if the monorail's running once we get that way? Because we'd only have to go one terminal. Well, you've only got to go one terminal either way. But as far as he's aware, the entire system's been shut down temporarily until they work out what's happened with his rights. I say northwest, just because I like the direction of northwest more than northeast. Cat, Doc, anybody else? Northwest it is. I, yeah. I don't know where the hospital is, but... You know. So be it. If the hospital's in the middle class district, it's more likely to be on the way if we take the northwest. Yeah, th that was a good question, Matt. Do we know where the hospital is relative to those two? Uh, no, we don't. Okay. Sorry. Northwest it is. But, but... Can we ask? Both of those stations are on the border between First and Jettis, all right? But the northeast one, the northeast line... Um, about halfway between that station and the next one is basically the border between the, board, the, bu the business district and, and for us. Yeah, which is why I think it's more likely for the, us to take the the hospital to be closer to the northwest uh, junction. Sure. So. Sure. Okay. So you're heading you're heading basically northwest along uh, yep. along underneath the, the monorail. Along that station. monorail line. Yep. All right. Can you guys give me um, now? Which, which is the best one to use? Is the next question. Um, look, can you guys give me a, a, an average roll of intuition and reaction speed, please? Just to make the math hard. Intuition and 
reaction, reaction speed. speed. Thank you. And rand up if you have to. While you're all doing that, uh, And he looked up that one, I know that for, for a fact. I'm rebuilding these computer things while you guys are rolling. Or trying to, anyway. Cap's dead. I know a few of it. them you said that you couldn't find any information on. Yes, I know, Dad, because there is no information for you to be found. Yeah. Um, so has everybody rolled? No, okay, I'm cat. still trying to put the die together. Yeah, slash die 1d100. And then you can do minus whatever. Or you can put the minus in the modifier box. Yeah, I dropped a uh, slash die 1d100 in my first hotkey a long time ago. And then I can just do the modifiers. Excellent. Okay, uh, at one stage during your trip, uh, pretty early on, uh, Cat happens to be leading, and as she goes around a corner, uh, she comes face to face with a bunch of humans. Um, so, um, the others are not around the corner yet. What are you doing, Cat? Uh, give them the most racist gesture that I can and see if I fit in. Give them the most <laughs> racist gesture. Your own, your own, your own teammates or? Uh, um. Well, they've seen me, right? So. I oh yeah, they've spotted you. That, they've spotted you, and very soon the others are going to come around the corner and I'll spot the others as well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, are they these people close enough that if I. Uh, made some sound for my team to hold back uh, that uh, the mob would hear them, me or depends how, dep depends how loud you are if it's a quick st stop go back all right you could probably get away with it if you yell out don't come in closer these are these they're gonna hear you yeah no I would it would be like a, a, a stop kind we I, I would imagine a team of our caliber would have some kind of sound or signal for just stop and hide uh like oh, probably you, you, you mean a, you mean a battle signal or a battle talk of some yeah. sort yeah 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 i'm, I'm assuming so is that what you're going to do yeah is it um all right um that's okay um i take it everybody stops i uh, look for cover some place i can hide behind a barrel yeah. or whatever Understood. Don't forget you are wearing that camo suit. Yep. Um, the uh, one of the human one of the human males yells out, "Come on and join us. We're going to bash. We, we're going. We're, we're going to try and find find some some shell heads." Ah. <laughs> Great. Um, where 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 are you off to, specifically? Oh, we're going to go down that way, and he points off to not not down the way you've been going, but off on about a, a roughly about a ninety degree angle. Uh, what are these? Oh, this is just you putting it in the system because they keep popping up for me. Yeah, this yeah, is just information. This is this is the stuff you've already found. Um, yeah. And you looked up that one as well. I'm just rebuilding the system as as I'm talking to you as we're playing. Yeah. Okay. okay. So um. So yes. Um, so the way, that, the way that they pointed, yeah, is not the way that everybody's hiding around the corner, right? No, it's not the way everyone's hiding around the corner. No. Okay. Cool. I I, I would kind of not not look like I'm. I, I would look like I'm trying to go off with them, uh, and then I'll just fall back to the end of the mob and uh, join the rest of my party. All right. And what's the rest of the party doing while this is happening? 
Yeah, I'm I'm ignoring them. Being inconspicuous. Being inconspicuous, okay. Tending to right. do something else. Are you are you going to wait for Cat to come back or, or what's the story? That sounds like a prudent activity decision. Okay, so you're gonna wait for Cat to come back. Well it takes it takes you about twenty minutes to both um, move to the back of the mob um, and um, um, disappear and come back, okay? But you do make it back okay. So, yeah. Um, let's start your arms. Um, 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 and you got that one. That I do know for a fact. Um, so, do you want to continue on once Cat gets back? Yep. 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 Okay. So, uh, you continue on. Um, you've covered, oh, probably about two, two kilometers. In fact, you, you, you definitely passed that piece of monorail which curves off in a, in a curve to go. Yeah, so we've gone route. one whole hat. Oh, at least one whole hex, probably a bit more, probably close to one and a half. You're, you're probably about a half to a third hex short of the next monorail station. Okay? And listen, I'll get you to give me another, I'll get you to give me another intuition reaction speed check roll as well, everybody, please. Um, okay, what do we get? Um, no, no, no. Babu and Sari. Doc didn't do too well either. Or is that, what's the second roll, Doc? I don't know, for some reason they did a D100. Double clicked. Uh, Double yeah. clicked. Yeah, hey, cool. Yeah, okay, so Sari did and... that too. Take the one yeah. with the uh, minus. Yeah, okay. So Babu and Sari happen to be um, towards the, the front of the group at, at, this, at this stage. When... Um, where are we? Um, uh, where where you you come ac come across a uh, come around a slight curve, um, in the, in the roadway and um, and over a slight rise, and you can see both of you see a group of uh, five humans and three New Zealands. They are standing over two rusk. Uh, cries of get up bug we ain't finished yet and smash its skull are clearly audible above the sickening sound of blows to the rusts car carapaces okay they haven't seen you yet you take all this in in an instant what are you doing what's the distance uh, you could certainly charge them um, and attack this round, it's that close because it was around a curve and up and over a slight rise. So you've just poked, you know, as you're walking along, you've poked, your heads have cleared the rise and cleared the curve, and you can see this. Now, um, three, of the, three of them are, are armed with uh, knives, uh, three with clubs. Um, one looks to, have like a, looks to have a vibro knife in their hand. Um, they're all uh, wearing obviously damaged military skin suits. Um, and the, the one of them wearing an eye, bald older guy with an eye patch, uh, human, um, ha, is, um, seems to be wearing, or seems to have, I should say, a, um, uh, a sonic sword. And a cable goes from the sword to his waist, so he's probably got a backpack as well, a belt pack as well. So what do you want to yeah, do, boys? So so, our, I, I want to throw a smoke grenade. You want to throw a smoke grenade? Okay. What do you want to do, Babu? And hide. I will ready the force axe, but I ain't going to flip it on or anything. Just have it 
my hand ready and basically I don't like what's happening but I'm not I'm gonna follow the lead of everybody else okay so the distance um, is um, um, about um, most people can be about 15 meters or so give or take so do you want to throw that grenade yep so I uh, believe that's uh, medium, which is minus 20. Uh, yep, that sounds right to me. Okay, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, there might be other information that you guys asked me about, but I can't remember exactly what you did ask me about, unfortunately now. But I know that's what you. I know that stuff is stuff you did ask me about. Um, uh, the rest of the stuff was pretty much just all the company info. Yeah, well, you haven't got all the company info because you haven't asked all that all the companies yet, so I can't give you all the company info. <laughs> but I can't remember which ones you have asked me about, which ones you haven't. Did you hit Ceres? No, so and that I would have targeted right where the middle of the brusks were. Oh yeah, that's obvious. They're, they're, these guys, they, these these humans and and Yazirians are all around the brusk. Um, okay, so um, I need a scatter roll, mate, which is a D eight. I rolled it. Did oh sorry, you too. I did. I missed it. Um, that's to the right. Um, the grenade goes off to the right. The grenade lands lands to the right, um, and and um, scatters that far to the right um, and explodes uh, now it was a gas it was a gas grenade you said uh, smoke, smoke grenade smoke. which is uh, basically uh, pure gas grenade. yeah it's a blue smoke grenade okay um, the blue smoke grenade goes off blue smoke starts coming out the the thugs for want of a better term are all um, are all uh, are, are all momentarily surprised um, they look they all look around um, and let me see. Yeah, well, when you roll a ten percent, that's not bad. Um, they all right. They uh, and uh, take a moment and then um, seem to come to the conclusion that that the direction that the grenade came from was in your general direction, everyone. Um, now, everybody else, all you saw was Bab Babu heft his force, heft his force axe, and step back a bit. And Cerise throw a grenade and step back. Did we see that. Cerise though? Because he's invisible. No, he's not invisible. He's got oh, a hollow well. screen. That's not the same thing. At best, he's only eighty percent visible, right? And you guys knew where he was anyway. So we can you know. smell. smell. And apart from that, you saw you saw the grenade fly. You, you saw the grenade fly through the air, and, that, and it was oh, yeah. it didn't come from Babu, so it must have come from Cerise. Okay. So these guys, these guys leave the brusk for a moment and um, charge um, up the up the, sl the, sl the the slight slope of the hill towards towards you uh, towards where you are. What do you guys want to do? Well, I've taken an oath, so I'm I'm interested in seeing if I can help these brusks. So I'm going to head towards the victims. I don't know if, if you can get past I'm the angry mob. I, I, I agree, but I, I, the doc's no coward. Are you going to try and uh, you can try you can try and sneak past these guys? Possibly. Yeah, well, that would probably be preferable to to uh, charging through them. All right. Well, if that's what you're going to do. You better give me a um. Is that reaction speed, maybe, or dexterity? Yeah, it has, it has to, it has to, well, give me a, no, it's reaction. It, it, it's a mixture. It's a it's a mix of both. It's half dex and half reaction speed, which is the same thing for you. So either one of those would be fine. Doc, please. Ah. No much for sneaky, sneaky. Mm, what's everybody else doing? Um, I. Now that it's been broken up, we haven't actually seen the attack. Could we, now that we're around the corner, would we be able to see the 
the wrath down and obviously brutalised. Well, if you were going to go around the corner, you would. But all you can hear at the moment is a bunch of voices because you haven't seen anything, unless you want to move forward and have a look. I um, just assumed that... I'm staying with Doc. Somebody has to watch out for him. Okay. Domo. Uh, yeah, I just assumed that because we didn't get told to stop, we probably would have just walked around the corner instinctively anyway. Uh, oh, okay. Well, I, 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 saw, it, I saw it as um, Babu and, and Cerise um, uh, stopping, taking that, hefting the axe and throwing the grenade and then stepping back, and, I would have, and, and therefore I would have assumed everybody else would have stopped. Ah, okay. Oh, did, so they're not visible in the open? Not at the moment. They will be very, very soon. If, no, if like I Babu. Else, I'm gonna like they they didn't back. see Babu. They just know which direction it came from. Yeah, that's it. They, 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 they have, they have oh, okay. That. They're just charging in. Sorry, I didn't explain that very well, guys. I'm sorry about that. Um. No, um, they didn't see Babu, uh, Babu or Jazz, or Jazz, or Cerise, um, but they 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 pretty much worked it out where it must have come from, and so they're charging in to see what's going on. Okay, well, if that's the case, if uh, we haven't walked around the corner yet, but we've seen mm -hmm. Babu grab his four sacks out, both Jazz and Cat will turn on their sonic swords. Uh, okay. Repair, but not walk around the corner yet. All right. What about screens? Uh, it, presumably, I think both Jazz and Cat probably have an albedo screen hooked up. Yeah. Do you want to turn them on, though, is what I'm asking? We haven't said otherwise. Uh, I don't know if we'd be expecting beam weapons, but I guess turning them on doesn't cost anything, so that would be turned on. Okay. No worries. What about the people who haven't entered in yet? Well, I don't have anything that can cause a ruckus besides more smoke grenade. What about, you don't have any melee weapons or any pistols? I mean, I do, but I'm trying to avoid... I don't have anything to avoid combat, per se. Oh, I see what you mean. Sorry, I, mis I misunderstood you. Yeah, I'm trying, like, you know, a firecracker to throw the other way. Throw on the other side of the street to get them to go over there. Well, yeah, I don't think the street's wide enough to make that make that much of a difference. That much of a difference, mate. Can I just pick up a rock and throw it at uh, throw it at the other side of the street, and they'll immediately walk over to it? Well, they're not walking; they're running. No, that's not how it works so... in re in real life. <laughs> I can't just pick up a pebble and all they they all go to investigate. Too many movies, I think, mate. Too many video games. Too many video I'll games. I'll pull my Sonic Stunner. Okay. Uh, uh, everybody and take cup. An All right, everybody declared an action. Uh, I'll flip the Albedo screen on, too. Okay. And I'll flip my screen on. Oh, God, I hate that. Hang on. And I'll have my... Four sats in one of my other hands. Mm hmm. I have three hands to use. Okay. So, uh, the group of thugs um, come up over the rise and around the corner as such. Um, see. Sorry, just rolling some dice and having trouble doing it. Oh, really? Um, see uh, most people, but don't seem to notice Cerise um, and uh, or don't seem to be paying attention to Cerise, a better way of saying it. Um, that go, there they are, get them!
So they're only going to warn you once. Back away or we will show you no mercy. Yeah, yeah. Two, two, two. That, that's your entire action if you're going to say all that. Sorry, no. Cerise, I missed what you said. So they're going after the Dralocytes and the other humans. Yeah, they're they're and going the after Dralocytes and the Yuzirian and the other humans, yeah. Everybody but you. Uh, everybody but you. I'll if if one passes by me where I can get a sneak attack in per se. Not that right. they have okay. a feat, but all right, all right, guys. No, I know it's not a feat. So I mean, I know you. If you guys can give me some initiative rolls, please. Sixty. I'm not sure about that. I don't know what's wrong. Oh, that's a that's a D100 in. <laughs> yeah, it's not quite right, mate. I'm all for it, though. As long as the bad guys don't get to add D100s. Ah, but they might. Folks, on a nine. What the heck happened with that? Oh, jeez. What? Um, one of them is... Uh, Jazz's and my the six is jazz. The six is cat. The five is no one really. Uh, it should be plus seven for jazz. Hang on, wait, 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 wait. What are you talking about? The two initiative. The roll? first roll for cat is yes. Is a fifteen. Is supposed to be for right. jazz. He just rolled it. Oh, jazz got the fifteen. Sorry. Well, no, jazz should, should a have a. Well, my seventeen completely messed up. I, yeah, I... Hot, most of the hot bars, most of the hot bars are. I did warn you that would do that. So that first roll is for jazz, and it should be plus seven, should it? Yeah. Yes. Right. Seventeen for jazz. And the second roll is for sixteen, cat. and, is and that is cat. Is yes. it's sixteen for cat? Is it right? Okay. Now I'm with you. Uh, nine seven. Uh, I Dom don't got joke about spending one XP to get the extra plus one. I did that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, we're going and to get some uh, kind of competence in this game because we suck at everything yeah. else. If I can yeah. cheat the game a little bit, I would. And the baboo f and the sixty from baboo is not is not legitimate either. I'm assuming. No, I think <laughs> the last one. Yeah. Uh, so that's uh, for him. Are you guys seeing the? Uh, you guys got the combat tracker up? I'm assuming. A whopping seven thugs and a leader. Mm -hmm. Oh, for God's sake! Some okay. of them were Yazirians. Three Yazirians. Yes, the last him. three. The last three Yazirians. Hang on. Are you getting that? Yep. Yep. Good. The three what? The other Yazirians. Okay, everything else. Everyone else is a human at this stage. Oh, for God's sake. That's better. That's the problem when you roll a group initiative and only roll one. They end up being all very low. Jazz, you're up. Yikes. This is effectively melee, All right? Yeah. And you can use a you can use a pistol in melee without penalty. It's just rifles you can't. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean. We just yeah. had to be good people. We just had to be good people. What? We just had. Let a murderer. Yes. Oh, uh, if Cat saw that, she would have murdered them anyway because. She's got no time for thugs. She doesn't want to join a mob, but she's not going to let people get beaten up. Uh, but Jazz, yeah, Jazz is going to be swinging his sonic sword at whoever's closest. Oh, before Actually, you do, sorry. One of, one, of, one of them had a sonic sword, didn't they? Yeah, the leader's got a sonic sword. Yeah, the leader has got a sonic sword. Jazz being the brave combat specialist that he is, uh, I, I I would get the feeling that he would probably take on the leader and move towards him. 
Mm -hmm. uh, and take a swing. Let me just look up. Huh? Jazz. Sorry? Sorry, before you take a swing, do you want to do a rage? Oh, yeah, good point. Well, it could be a first. Actually, he's done it before. Second. Well, that should... He did it before in, like, ranged combat. Almost. Almost close. Alright. Uh, sonic Sword Attack. Mm-hmm. Uh, Jazz? Jazz's character sheet has a punch score on the Sonic Sword, and I thought that wasn't a thing. I did too. Okay, so I'll take that off. I've got that on my melee weapons. Yeah. I thought I think you added the... punch score to the melee weapons. I think for the Force Axe that's the case, but I thought the Sonic Sword did not. I didn't think it did for the Force Axe, to tell you the truth. Yeah, yeah the Force Axe gets Sonic a knife. bonus to damage. Mm-hmm. That's right. Players, we, players, we played. If we get it wrong, we get it wrong. We'll fix it up later. It's not going to be. It's not. It's a mook. It's a mook fight for God's sake. So who cares, really? You know what I mean? Yeah, true. Take off his head. So sorry. Seventeen. Seventeen points of damage. Was that it? Ah, uh, yeah. Shock Glove, Sonic Knife, Sonic Sword, or Stun Stits. Do not add punching score. Didn't think so. Sonic Knives do not, right? No. Sonic Knives do not. So the leader... Because that's who you attacked. Takes... 17 points. Um, okay, he's lightly wounded. End your turn, please. Okay. Cat, what are you doing? Alright, uh, she's seen the lead again engaged by Jazz, uh, for no reason at all. She'll go over, she'll go after Thug One. Fair uh, with, with her Sonic Sword. Okay. Sorry, sorry, my apologies. Leader, the leader is not damaged, but his skin scoop takes. Oh, he takes skin scoop takes some damage, doesn't he? Sorry, yeah, he's still lightly wounded, but the skin scoop took some damage. No, okay. skin scoop doesn't take damage because it's sonic. It's a damage. sonic sword. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's what I'm trying. That's to why point people it. with force axes get shredded by people with inertia screens and skin suits. We've had this problem before. Anyhow. We have. Uh, yep, yeah, uh, but he, so the, uh, he, he, has, he has got a skin suit. Um, yes. Um, yep, yeah. okay. And that's 18 points of sonic damage on Thug One. Oh, well, Thug One's already got, already got a damaged skin suit, but it doesn't apply. Does it? Nope. So that's the good thing about it. One, he takes, uh, how do you mean, what do you say? Uh, 18 points of damage. He is uh, lightly wounded. All right, well, I guess I'm mostly interested in avoiding any of these individuals and trying to get past them to take care of the injured so okay so you're no 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 no. so you're declaring uh, basically a full defense is that right yeah i uh, if i can avoid yeah or run or i guess uh-huh don't want to okay. stop to defend myself when i keep running right, well give me now we'll, okay give me a give me a reaction speed check please mate to dodge these guys None of them have engaged you yet, because none of them have, have had really had a chance to. So this is going to be pretty good, hopefully. That's pretty good. Okay, so you manage you manage to get around you manage to get around the or through around the edge of the the melee, the general melee, uh, and move towards the two down brusks down the hill. 
However, you have exposed your, you, 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 unless something goes, uh, goes to, to stop it, and I think Babu's going to be the one who's going to stop it, you've basically um, exposed your back and there's enough thugs for one of them to chase you, obviously. Um, but Babu did say he was look, keeping an eye on your back. So Thanks, Babs. And unless the leader goes after you, and there's no reason for the leader to do that, Babu is going to get a chance to interpose before anyone gets a chance to attack you. Okay? So, um, the leader... Um, um, swings his sonic sword... Um, which is... I'll take, I'll take his decks, uh, decks on that. Um, which is... Um, uh, swings at you, by the way, Jess. Sorry, I should have mentioned that. Oh! I don't believe it. I missed. I had a really good chance of hitting you, too, and I missed. Bugger. Um, uh, and swears at you for being a traitor, t a traitor to... A, tra a traitor to you to, to the Yazirian race. Vote. At the same time as the leader swings, what are you doing? Well, since they all have skin suits on, I'm gonna forgo the damaged, damaged skin suits. Yeah, but I have a better chance to hit with a melee weapon than I do with my sonic stunner. Sure. So I'm gonna take my sonic sword and uh, uh, no, no, you're going to take out your Sonic Sword. But you I had my Sonic sword. sword and my Sonic... S no? Oh, yes, yeah, so you, you didn't have it in each hand, didn't you? Yeah, okay. Yeah, Go I on. pulled out... Yeah. Go I got on. three arms. Yes, I forgot that one you've, you've been showing me. Okay, so yes, you can use your Sonic Sword. Who are you using your Sonic Sword on? Uh, I'm going to go for the leader. If I can. Okay, let me remind you that there are eight of them and six of you. Okay, I'm, I'll go for the fibro knife guy. Fair enough. Okay, I'm just gonna roll this. It's a. F I don't have a sonic sword one set up, but I will just this to correct the modifier. Mhm, mm that's cool. Twenty-two points. Uh, is the wow. Axe or Sonic Sword. Sonic Sword. That's not five d ten, is it? It is. It is. is. You've you got me what one die too many. Let me roll it, please. No, the web page says five. Jazz rolled three dice. On a Sonic Sword. I'm just telling you. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This may be one of this may be a data corruption issue. Cat, uh, sorry, cat. You got that. You got that off the sheet, didn't you? Yeah, I'm looking it up now. Uh, Sonic and sword you, is five by ten. In which case, in which case, we'll take your twenty-two points and um and you can roll me an extra two dice. Thank you. No, I meant jazz. Well, both Cat and Jazz need an extra. So oh, you do too. Thug one and leader take an extra 10 damage. Yeah, yep. And the damage on... The damage on Thug 7... Well, that will make, that will make Thug 1 wounded. And... Thug... The leader's still not wounded, and Fug 7 with the 22 points isn't wounded. So. Ignore these rolls, I'm just going to test it. Yeah, yep, go for it. Whoa! Overcorrection, hang on. Overcorrection. Yeah, you got to clear it and then totally redo it. If it's the hot bar. Yeah, it's better. Cool. Hang on. Two, three, four, 
five, six, four, no, four, five, and six. Okay. Um, so, and the leaders, the leaders on jazz, and thug ones on um, cat. And um, Thug Sevens on Vogue, and the others are not engaged as yet. Uh, so um, yeah, okay. So you, you, you he's only lightly wounded Vogue. So if you want to have another, uh, so if you want to end your turn, please. Yep. All right, Babu. What you you said you were basically following Doc and picking things up. Following Doc. Back, if any of these guys have turned to look at Doc, I'll swing at him. All right, so basically you're holding your action effectively, yeah? Yep, but unless somebody's right, so it, doing something to dock, yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, end your turn, and I'll adjust your initiative so that you go to the bottom of the list so that we remember you have, you're holding. So that brings up Cerise, who is... So if, if I can double team... Out. I'm sorry? sorry? I said this brings up Cerise, which is ho who is hologrammed out. Yeah, I'll I'll um, surprise attack somebody if I can um, double team somebody that's been attacked by one of the other guys. I'll do that. Um, yeah, you you can. You want to go after Thug Seven, Thug One, or the leader? It's up to you. Um, they're all within striking distance because it's a general melee type thing. Um, and when you say leader. double team, what do you what do you mean? Flank them. Well, yeah, f somebody who um, had already gotten attacked. Yeah, well, that's the leader. That's Thug One and Thug Seven. Have all been. Uh, have well, all been leader, attacked. it is if I can. He he's the vilest of them. Okay. Yes, you can go after the leader. Um. Yeah. Well done. Uh, what are you hitting him with? Four sacks. So inertia helps. Oh. Oh. Ouch. <laughs> Thirty-seven, uh, thirty-seven points of damage to the th to the thug, to the leader. Uh, thirty-seven, uh, twenty-seven, thirty-seven is fifty, sixty-four. Plus skin suit. And skin suit, yeah. Oh, less a skin suit. That's right. Hang on, twenty-seven. What do I say? Thirty-seven. Half of thirty-seven is fifteen, sixteen, 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 and seven. No, that's not right. Seventeen and eighteen. Because yeah, 30 is 15, and yeah, then 3 and yeah. 4. So 18 and 19. Yeah, 18 and 19. Thank you. Uh, 27 and 8 is 30. Uh, 35, 35, so that makes it 45. So the leader is now heavily wounded. Uh, and his skin suit, his undamaged skin suit is now taking some, taking some damage. Uh, end your turn, please. Okay, uh, Thug Four with the club is the one who's going to go after. This, this is this Camille. This four and five go virtually simultaneously. Thug Four, Thug Four with the club is the one who 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 is going after um, Doc Perro. Uh, Babu, you said you wanted to um, intercept. So yep. uh, you can roll yep. me an attack, and he's going to roll an attack on you. Okay, to try and get past you, trying to club you out of the way. Basically, is what he's trying to do. Oh, the okay. friendly locals. Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, the club attack against you, you managed to dodge and miss out of the way of, but I think you get him with your four sacks. Poor bastard. I have to take uh, care 20, of him too. Uh, 25 points. That's uh, 13 to the skin suit. And the thug takes 12. Uh, he's only lightly wounded, obviously, thug four. Um, Doc, have you thought about the fact that if you do help these thugs, they're only going to hurt more people? He's going to help the Yazirians that were bleeding. <laughs> Triage. Triage. Oh, 
knows, maybe one of these thugs might have a lead on KLC. Okay, out of the four people that they can get to. Um, one, two, one, two, three. Jazz, um, you're all being attacked by the, your, the Yazirian five. Mm -hmm. uh, does he have his thing left yet? No, he doesn't. He's used it. He's already he's already tried to use his thing, and that still counts. So that's fine there. Um, uh, just clubbing you, just clubbing you down. That's what he's trying to do. Stop you bashing up the boss, and he misses with his club. Um, uh, thug one uh, tries to stick cat with a dagger. Uh, get to you, cat, with a dagger. Um, uh, and only does... Um, is the dagger D10 or D5? I can't even remember. Uh, knife? Yeah, one D10. Again, it does 12 points of damage to you. Obviously, it's physical, so any skin suit you happen to be wearing is um, A-OK. -okay. Um, thug 3 teams up with Thug 7 to go after Voke. Uh, thug 3's only got a dagger as well. Ha, ah, bring it. Um, hits you. Uh, for a total of um, five points, a total of five points. Wow! Uh, yeah, that's what I said. Uh, Thug Six also uh, gangs up on Cat with Thug One. Uh, it swings at you with a club. Um, that's a miss. Uh, Thug7 obviously swings with his Vibro Knife at um, Voke, I believe, yes. Um, that's a hit, Voke. 3d6? Sure, if you want to roll d6s. Uh, 3d... yeah, yeah, very... 3 dice, 3d10, is that right? Uh, Sonic Knife's 3d10, yeah. No, 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 Vibro Knife. Oh, Vibro... uh, 2. 2d6. I thought it was more than that. Uh, and uh, that's uh, 16 points of damage. Wow, alright. And uh, finally, Thug 2 um, gangs up again against um, Babu with Thug 4. Um, and, oh, uh, that's better, make it a lot easier on myself, and misses, by the way, sorry, and Babu's already had to go, so that's, um, end of turn, and I'll get initiative off everybody, please. Okay, so we've got Cerise on 14, and uh, Babu on 12, and Voke on 6, uh, 8 for Jazz, uh, Doc's on 10, and Cat's on 14. The leader is on and the 
Um, hey, listen, when I put these initiatives in, can you see where the leader... I know you can't see the initiative of the leader, but can you see where he sits in the, in no. the list? No. 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 Yes. You can't. No, we can't. All the enemies are below us. Okay. That's all right. And, 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 the, and the indicator... And alphabetical around, order, right? yeah. Yeah, and the, and the indicator jumps around, right? Yep. Yeah, the that's right, that's turn it is. Happened. Yep. Yeah, okay. So hang on a sec. Uh, so that's... Um, that's a... Duh, and that's a... Uh, 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 and that's... A, uh, and that's... A, uh, 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 and that's a uh, uh, and that's a uh, uh. right. Here we go. Therese, I'll you attack the leader. First. You and you and Cat are going simultaneously, but you because you're alphabetical, you stick first. Okay, that's a hit. This is with your four sacks. Four sacks. Um, so it's. Uh -huh. Uh, she was more than that, it's that. And, um, uh, he's, he's still heavily wounded, but he's, he's not down yet, okay? Cat? Thug one or thug six? That's thug one. Right, thank you. Uh, that's obvi obviously a hit. And I'm assuming it's you, not Jazz. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, so that's 29 points of damage to Thug 1. Um, yeah, Jazz calls his Sonic Sword is just sword. Well, it may not be a Sonic Sword. It might just be a sword. I think it is. I, I don't think he carries a regular sword. No, yeah, okay. I think Jazz has an electric sword and a Sonic Sword. Um, the electric sword is four die. Uh, uh, it's an electric sword. Yeah, electric sword. Uh, regular sword is three die ten. Uh, thug one is very heavily wounded, even with his skin suit, which is practically gone, uh, and not looking too healthy. Babu, you have um, thug two and thug four. Thug four is the one you've damaged. Thug two isn't damaged at all yet. And I'll let him know he has some love coming his way, uh, Thug 2. Okay, so roll your dice to hit him. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, that's a hit. And you've, kicked, you, you've done... Yeah, actually, huh. So did you, attack, did you, so did you say Thug 2, you attacked? Yes. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, I guess that maybe Jazz's character got got messed up. Because if, because you've been using an act like sword, and sword does do 3d10, and how we got all confused with that. Well, maybe, maybe, maybe he has got a sword. No, Jazz has used other weapons before, like a yeah, sonic sword or the electric sword. Yeah. I think a regular a sword. And see if he has multiple. I I know he types. has better weapons than a regular sword. Yeah, but it might depend on what he's facing, you know. Uh, anyway, don't make, let, let's, let's not argue about it. Let's just play it through. As I said, it's a mock fight. It's not that important as such. Um, guys, uh, if, you, if you finish your turn, Babs, please continue. Okay. Now, these next four characters all go at the same time. Okay. So, I'll do the leader. He's going to attack... Um, Jazz. Almost gets a crit out of it. Almost gets a crit out of it. Um, and that was um, a 20, 22 points of damage, Jazz. Okay. Doc, you make it to the two, um, you make it to the two rusks that are lying, um, bleeding on the road. Leaking. Uh, they're, they're both in, in bad shape. 
Um, one of them is is uh, uh, well, w w the, the 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 one of them is is still conscious, um, but really really badly beaten up, bruised, carpus is cracked, and things like that. The other one is unconscious. Which one do you want to treat? Which one do you want to do a quick? Uh, which one do you want to, you know, do first? Uh, the one who's awake. You want to do the one that's awake first? Yeah. That's a diagnosis, okay. right? No, it's not a it's diagnosis. A first no, aid. it's a first aid. It's pretty. It's pretty obvious. It's a first aid. Okay. Um, knock off a bio court and. Okay, that's your action for the round. Um, thug four is going to again swing at bab hang on what's thug four thug four yeah thug four is going to swing at babu and misses and at the same time thug five is going to swing at jazz uh, and hits um, clubs d10 or d5 I can't remember d10 I think d but somewhere yeah it's 1d10. Yeah. yeah, wait, d5? Where'd you get a d5? Oh, some, there's one weapon out there that does a d5, I'm sure. It's a bottle. A oh, bottle one. does, okay. yeah. Okay, no. Um, what was I saying? That was Thug... Sorry, Thug 5. So he gives you in, Thug 5. Uh, and he's got a... a uh, so that causes four points of damage. Thug one uh, yeah. Thug one uh, turns and flees. If Thug six was not also in that melee, you could have a, a, a have a free attack on him, uh, cat, but unfortunately this guy uh, just just runs. He's that badly damaged. His, his morale is broken, and he runs. Okay. Thug three, who has a go at Voke. I mean, okay. How fast is he running? Well, if you try and go after him, Thug six is going to take a free shot at you. No, I was going to shoot him with a pistol. Yeah, which would mean which would mean changing weapons, and again, Thug six would give a Thug six would would have a free shot at you. Yeah. Alright, is that okay? Is that alright? Right. Okay, so Thug 3 is over Voke. Uh, have I rolled for Voke? I have not rolled for Voke. No, I have rolled. Uh, Voke, yeah, yeah, hits Voke um, and does um, two, 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 four, two, three, five points of damage to. Again, the, uh, wow, this guy's astonishing. Alright. As Thug 1 runs, Thug 6. Attacks you, cat. Uh, hits you with the club for ten points. Um, thug seven uh, attacks Voke as well. And misses completely. Jazz, you're up. Kill him, Jazz. Put him and down. I just need to change my current stamina. Yeah, that's yeah, okay. Alright, Jazz. Uh, he's going to attack, obviously. Mm -hmm. Or not. Uh, actually, that's a critical fail. Yep, of course it is. We do it all the time. All right. Well, yeah, that's a special. Okay. Uh, can you... Let me just see. It yeah, wouldn't can be... You roll... We uh, didn't do the 1 in 20 thing more than four times. Yeah, I knew that. <laughs> uh, could, you, um, could you roll your damage roll, please? That's too many times. 
that that's not correct, mate. It is a damage roll, though. Yeah, it's not the right one, though. It's a super soul. Nice. That's really good damage to yourself, probably. No, to Cerise, because Cerise is un in the hollow screen, and Jazz, unfortunately, struck Cerise instead of the uh, instead of the uh, the leader. And that's Sonic. That's Sonic. Yep. Ow. You. Okay. Doesn't Jazz have a tendency to shoot Cerise? Yes. Yes. I think he shot everybody at least once. Not me. Not yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. <laughs> I think I've blown up almost everybody, though. Uh, if you finish police captain at the, the end of the turn. Babu, the uh, the last thug on you, thug two. Uh, it swings and misses. Leaving Voke to have the last action of the round. Alright, I will go with my Sonic Sword that I made a thing for. Never mind, I'm an idiot. I didn't put a D100 in there. Never mind, I fit. There you go. That's the miss. Did you, you, did you do your modifier for your Sonic Sword? Yeah, that is my modifier. Okay. Okay, so that's um, everybody. Um, if I can get initiatives off everybody again, please. Two ones in a row. I'm doing great. So, so you get a six. I won't bother. I won't bother wiping yours out and putting it back in again. Yeah. Ah, first, so I'm top of the. Oh, I'm no longer top. Of No, not when not when the dock rolls bloody sevens and better. So he's got a ten. He's really enthusiastic about stabbing people. Mm -hmm. Are those are those the right rolls, Ben? I he claims know. it's for medical purposes, but I, I yep. don't believe it. All right. Math. Thank baby. you, Ben. And Pat got a thirteen as well. All right, our leader. Uh, got that much. And the remaining thugs, because one's run away. God, I don't believe that. Right. Hang on a sec. Just let me just. No, sorry. Just an experiment. Um, Doc, you're up. Okay, we've got uh, someone who's received some uh, help. First aid. We've got an unconscious victim here, so we're gonna give the unconscious victim the the once over. Okay. Uh, the unconscious victim um, is incredibly badly damaged. Um, is, is in effect in effect near death. It's obvious from the bruising and the breaks of the limbs, and the general the general cracking of the carapace, carapace and the amount of blood loss that this guy uh, um, has been done. Um, so um, you've only got seconds before he slips away. What would you like to do? I guess it's first aid or watch him leak away. You don't want to give him a stay dose? Oh, uh, yeah. I know, we, we, yeah. First aid. The first aid, first aid would not bring him up, and you don't have enough time to do either minor or major surgery before he get before he slips away. That's how close he is. Okay, then I guess dozing. Stay dosing? 
Yes, please. That'll give you, that'll give you more time. That'll give you more time to that'll give you more time to work on it and get and get the first aid and the surgery in. Yeah, that gives you um, twenty okay, so, hours basically. So you want to give him a um uh, you want to give me an administer drugs roll, please. Okay. Yes, you managed to stay, but stay stabilize him with a stay dose. Jazz and cat simultaneously, but jazz is alphabetical first. Sorry, so. Uh, the second attempt to murder the leader and not Ceres. Oh right, yeah, okay. That was jazz, That's... but doesn't really matter. We're both going yeah. at the same. No, not because. Because your your cat was going someone di someone different. You're going at the same time. So that was jazz. Yes. Okay. And uh, you got 19 points. And that was with the that was with the, the sonic sword. No, that was with the sonic sword. Yeah. It yep. was sonic sword. Yeah. So no skin suit. It's all damage on the leader. Okay. Uh, the leader. Um, falls to the ground. Excellent. Uh, end your turn. Cat, who, you, your thug one's gone. Gone, gone. Gone, gone. Duck yeah. around the corner. Really wanted to fire a burst off for their auto pistol. But oh yeah. well. Uh, but thug, thug six is still on top of you. Well, yeah. yeah I mean. Uh, is, uh, you, is that who you're aiming at? Yep. Okay, go if you like. Uh, it's a hit, obviously. And that's with a sonic sword as well? That's what it says. Yeah, well, that doesn't necessarily mean... <laughs> okay, um, Thug 6 is now heavily wounded. Which is interesting. Uh, finish, your, finish your turn, please, Cat. Cerise, what are you doing? Does Voke have more? That you've got three and seven, so um, I'll go for three or uh, I'll go for seven. Go for seven. Okay, seven's got a, a vibra knife. Don't forget. Yep. Okay. That's why he gets picked on. Okay. And oh, well, well at least you didn't you. smack me. No, it was a critical fail. So you missed that one. Uh, the lead is gone. Sorry, we'll take him out. Uh, and we'll move. Babu. All right. Which one of these two now that I've hit appears to be most wounded? Can't change that. Interesting. Um. Uh, Was it two and four? Yeah, two and four, and they're both lightly wounded. It, it, it's it's only a few points difference, mate. Um, so in other words, no. I no hit two last time. Point. I'll go for four this time. Okay. You you you're a short short a short squat dwarf standing on top of a wall, going fifteen, sixteen, seven. Uh, no? Roughly. Either either side. That was a great reference, Matt. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was a great reference. Uh, now this is with your axe, isn't it? So I got to, I got to, yep. I got to. Uh, so that's. Uh, hang on. No, it's not. Um, hang on a minute. I'll do that damage first because it's easier. Makes it twenty-seven there, and that one should be easy. And I've got to make it sixteen extra. So six and. Three is oh, that's going to go over. Uh, so sixteen minus seven is eleven. So the last eleven points. The skin suit is the skin. The skin suit he was wearing is completely gone. And um, and the f remaining damage goes all the way through to Thug Four, who is now heavily damaged. Thug 4 is now heavily damaged. At the same time as you swing at Thug Thor, Thug 4 swings at you. 
and misses you just. Um, and five five also at the same moment takes another swing at, takes a swing at jazz. Uh, and misses badly, but not critically. Uh, thug one's gone. Thug three, who's on Vogue, uh, misses Vogue. Uh, thug six, at the same time as Thug three, uh, swings at Cat and hits Cat uh, with a club. Thug six uh, for uh, twenty, not twenty-five. Sorry, seven points of damage. Um, thug seven, who uh, Jazz is now on as well. No, uh, Cerise is now on as well. But uh, Cerise is hidden still. Uh, swings at Voke with the Vibra Knife for a total of a hit and therefore a total of uh, 10 points of damage. Uh, and finally, Voke, you're up. Alright, I'll swing back. Smack. Hit. Mm -hmm. hit him real good. Hit him real good. Uh, that's with a sonic sword, of course. 28 points to uh, Thug 7, you said. Uh, that makes it. Mm -hmm. And that uh, makes him. Oh, yeah, he was heavily wounded anyway, so yeah. And finally, Thug 2 swings at Babu with the dagger. And almost critically misses. So that's the uh, end of turn, guys. I'll get some initiatives off everybody, please, again. About time. Oh, and the doc rolls another. <laughs> Life's tough. <laughs> Not for and the Babu, doc. Cat, and Cerise all get two. Yeah. Vote's got a 14. I know, I'm and moving up in the world. You are. Uh, Bab's got a 7. And uh, Cat got an 8, an 8, an 8. And Cerise gets a 6. Uh, Cerise gets a 6. And Jazz gets a 16. Uh, the leader, well, now the leader's not there. And Thug 1 isn't there. So I'm going to roll one initiative for everybody. Oh, God, I'm. I've rolled, out of four initiative rounds, I've rolled one for the thugs. Yeah. Yeah. We don't feel sorry for you. Nope. No. Of course you wouldn't. Uh... uh Yes, but it'd be nice if I could get, a get get to go first, or even somewhere in the middle. Jazz. All right. Um, so, who? Which one of them is closest uh, to you? Well, you've got Thug Six. Oh, it's Jazz, isn't it? Sorry. Um, yeah. It's pretty much of a muchness. It's, it's it's a general it's a general melee. So yeah, well, if there's no real. This one's next to Jazz. Then he'll go for Thug Seven with the Vibra Knife. Hey, can you hear me? Uh, yep. Couldn't. Can you hear me now? Yeah, we can. Yes. Guess. Yep. Right, sorry, I, I got I, I I forgot where I was up in the pedal push. <laughs> um, Jazz is the only individual. Oh, Jazz has got Thug Five on him. Okay, well, 
I'll go for sub five then. Excellent. Well done. Thug five is heavily wounded. Okay, I'm gonna focus my attention more on the uh, patient who's received the uh, first aid. Uh, the one that's conscious. Can I stabilize him? Oh, the, hang on. Sorry. The one that's conscious or the one that's unconscious? The one that's conscious. All right. Well, she says, um, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Um, hang on. You're welcome. Oh, hang on, hang on. We uh, need to my get name you to a hospital. Yeah, we need to get both of us to a hospital. My name is Sick Trixka. Shashirizes. All right. Now I know. I'll just call you Siki. Well, don't forget she works. That, that's that's well. the name of the trade house. You'll be calling ev almost every brass that. Yeah, Siki works. <laughs> now we used a lot. They they they, they, they the brass they do names like the Japanese do in, in family family. Well, not family, but but company then personal. So sure, yeah, Rizzi do. <laughs> okay, Rezzy it is then. All right, there's a hospital a, a, a few blocks that way. She she indicates. What about um. What about my um, what about my friend? Is he all right? Uh, it doesn't look good, but I've done all I can. I think. Did you give him first right. aid? Nope. Nope. All right, so that's, that's what happens with you guys. Vogue? Uh, round. Aha. On Actually, who? Seven? Four. Yeah. All right, seven is dead. Well, goes down anyway, same difference. Uh, that leaves you, Cat, uh, on Thug 6. Mm -hmm. And Thug 6 goes down. Where is Thug 6? There is Thug 6. That's interesting. Oh, that's right, that's why. Babu? Alright, they still fighting or are they getting ready to run? Um, four is getting ready to run, two's in it for the fight still. Actually, no, they, they, two looks like he's getting ready to run as well. Are they all looking like they're going to flee? Sorry, Matt, you've had your action. I'll hold my action. Okay. Well, Thug Thug Four is going on the same uh, at, 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 at on the same um, count as you. So uh, Thug Four does turn and run. Yeah, I'll let him go. Okay. Uh, and Thug Sorry Five. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. No, no, that's all right. Thug Five also turns and runs. Cerise. So two and three are still there? Two and three are still there. Two slightly damaged and three is undamaged. I'll go for two. And if you make me a reaction speed check, you can go after four or five too, if you like. Nah. Okay, you're up to two. Okay. I'll let yes, him managed to hit number two. Um, so that's um, 16 points of damage. And, oh no, the skin suit's been damaged more than that, which is good. So, um, um, six, uh, 17, 13, 
uh, in Thug 2 is heavily damaged. Uh, Thug 3 uh, turns and runs, Voke. Huh? What do you want to do? What's happening? Sorry, are we okay? Uh, thug, th thug, th sorry, thug 3 turns and runs, what do you want to do? Uh, I won't you hit him. Free shot it? You want to free shot at him, or do you want to let him go? Nah, I won't hit him. Okay. Uh, thug 3 turns and runs. Uh, He's thug undamaged two, anyways. Thug 2 turns and runs. That's you, Bab, and it's also Cerise. Do you want to let him go, guys, or do you want to... I'll let him go. Babs? Yeah. Uh, I let, let him go? go. Okay. Um, so they all run off. Um, we still have the leader on the ground, though, right? The leader's on the ground, and Seven's on the ground as well, I believe. Yep, and um, Sit. Not sh quite sure why we're so keen to let them go, given that we're trying to infiltrate their gang, but it's done now. <laughs> No, no, no. You humans are trying to infiltrate the gang. I got the leader here if we can question him. There's <laughs> dead. thousands of them. Okay, Delk, what are you doing? Who's doing what? What? Doc, what are you doing? I said. Oh, Doc, okay. Well, um, I'll take a look and see if any of the uh, gang members seem to be leaking. Did you do first aid on the unconscious Frost yet? No, I didn't. So you're gonna go check out the the, th the three bodies that are lying on the ground. Is that right? Uh, well, three human I'll, bodies lying on the ground. I, 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 no, I, actually, I, one is a one's a Yazirian. Yeah, one is two are Yazirians, one's a human. I'm okay. going for the human. Okay. Uh, the human is uh, in a very bad way. Not quite as bad as the Vrusk. That you that that, that you um, has stay ghost um, a few a few seconds ago, but yeah, he's not not in a healthy way at all. Um, half his teeth are missing. He's got bad breath. He's only got one eye. He's got virtually no hair. Not because he shaves, because he's bald. Um, and he's dressed in pretty pretty low class clothing. In fact, they all are. Yeah, I think we're gonna give this uh, unfortunate individual, misguided person, some first aid. Okay, go for your life. So, knock off a bio court. Um, yes, we'll do. He's still unconscious and he's still badly damaged. Yeah, I'd leave him unconscious, just stay dozing. I think a stay dose is more expensive than a bio. And we have more bio. You guys are cheap. You guys are cheap. Oh, well, we also. I the don't care for them. For, yeah, but we need to turn him over to Officer uh, Zikti. He might be able to get some information from him. We might be able to get some information from him. But then turn Why him Officer over. Zikti? Why? Because he's the only one we have contact with. I, he, I don't think we're supposed else, to bring him in. But my my immediate concern is getting off the street. Is there a building with a door with maybe fewer rather than more windows that we can get in? That I can pick the lock on? No, it's a couple of apartments. There's a couple of apartment blocks not too, you know, around the place, but the front door, obviously, the front lobby would be open, but I don't know about any of the apartments. Uh, no businesses or anything with a locked door? No, not 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 in the immediate area. Um, then we'll take them into the lobby Doc, of an apartment building. Well, Doc actually says there's a hospital not too far away. Indeed. Do they need the, the hospital right now, Doc? I... Risk, I don't, would rather not risk the streets again. So 
this one unfortunate victim is perhaps beyond help, so there's a priority for that one, as he points to the one that's leaking worse than the other one. Are you talking about the Vrask, or are you talking about the human? Yeah, or the or Rezzy's the... friend. Rezzy's friend, yeah. Why don't you take care of the remaining gang members, and we get these two poor, unfortunate victims to a proper facility? That we can do. Oh, taxi! <laughs> oh, taxi. So, what's the what? What are we what are we doing, people? I think we Babu leave, and I can carry the, the unconscious Frost. Well, certainly Babu and Vrock between you can carry him. Yeah, to the hospital. All right. What are you doing about the two Yazirians and Yazirimit? And um, their equipment, for that matter. I'll uh, I'll snatch the vibro knife. Okay. Actually, can I destroy it? Not easily. I'll take the power. Well, no, that that wouldn't work. Uh. Do you want to take the fiber knife or not? Quick. I'll take it. Okay. What about the what about the sonic sword and the demi and the three military skin suits? Which one is gone? I think. Um. Can we tell? The skin, military skin suits. Let's go ahead and grab the the manufacturer information off of it. Sure, sure. So should uh, we just I'll take them? No, you got to strip we, the bodies if you do that. We just need the info. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Um, okay. So you've got the info. I'll, I'll I'll give it to you later. Um. In the process of doing that, um, you happen to also note that the uh the human um has an automatic pistol. Uh, and has a, a second bullet clip full, a second full bullet clip, plus a gauze screen, and the power belt and the power belt pack connected to the sonic sword. A gauze, a gauze, a gauze yes. screen. A gauze screen, yes. Take that one. You taking the yeah. gauze screen? Oh yeah. What about the auto, what about the auto pistol and the two full clips? One in the pistol and one in the spare and the one spare. Somebody well, should take them. We don't want to take them with this guy. Not? Sure, I'll grab them. You grab them? Okay. What are you, now, what are you doing with the bodies of the two Yazirians and the human? You're going to leave them in the street or what? No, no, drag them into the lobby. Oh, drag them into the lobby of the apartment house. Okay, and then what? And then I think Doc's doing first aid to them all. Well, I is, did is first aid right? to the human. The human, yes. And the human is still unconscious and still obviously below zero stamina points. Does that mean he'll bleed? That means he won't survive without medical attention. But like 20 hours, right? Something like that. Maybe, maybe a bit longer, maybe a bit shorter. Depends. So I say we tie him up. If we need, uh, I don't think there's any purpose in dropping a tangler grenade. We call the officer, tell him where the bodies are and tell him that the human is a leader of one of the rabble rousers and that we're off to the hospital. Okay. Unless somebody so, else has another plan. No. Tell him Sounds that the, you know, we're, le we're leaving three rabble rousers here in this lobby. They need medical attention. We've stabilized them for now. They're unconscious and tied up. We're yeah. taking well, some victims well, to the hospital. To be honest, you haven't stabilized any of them. So let Doc stabilize them. Okay, well, that would be a so state. be it. All right. Well, it's three. It's, that's three apply drugs and three sta and three sta um, stay doses, mate. Okay. Okay. That's the leader. Ooh. Unfortunately, Yazirian Thug 6 is going to die before they get... The, well, you, you haven't stabilised him. I don't, you don't know when he's going to die, but as far as you're aware, the drugs went in properly. So so now what are you doing? Are you, are you now grabbing um, Raz and her, uh, Rez and her, and her friend and going to the hospital? Is that right? Yep. That's yep. our 
priority. Jazz should lead right. the way. Jazz lead the way, okay. Um, you make it to the hospital oh, about half an hour later because you're, you're way down with Raz's friend. Um, on the way, Raz is very, very thankful that you came along. They, 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 you know, um, uh, very, very grateful. Um, and it's obvious that um, she may not, she may make not a guide but a, a good source of information of the city and things like that. Um, she's a good contact, in other words. Uh, she'll make a good contact. So you make it to the hospital. The hospital is the emergency. The emergency area of the hospital is is not packed solid, but it's not far off it either. There are humans with wounds. There are rust with wounds. You, there's a dralocyte um, who is a very interesting shade of black and blue, but practically all over. Um, and there's a few Yazirians. We're talking, we're talking mainly contu contusions, breaks, um, blunt blunt trauma in blunt, blunt trauma injury. All right. There's there are a couple of stab wounds and things like that. Um, and the triage nurses are going nuts. What do you want to do? Get a meet with them. You're sp well, when you triage, you're supposed to c uh, address the most critical injuries first, so get the nurses to address the unconscious rust. That's right. Treat, uh, stat. <laughs> so the nurses come over and see the unconscious rust um, and uh, also Raz and also the wounds that you guys have. And says, right, bring him, bring him over here, um, and to and and y she leads you through a door into a in, into an emergency room, and then shushes you all out again. Um, are you hanging around for your own triage, or are you or are you are you are your own healing, or are you going to go? I'd rather not rack up a medical bill. Doc, I need first aid. So I'd rather it. have our own doctor perform it. Then okay. get a medical bill. Are, are you going to hang on hold? Are you going to do it here in the hospital? Mm, no, that's a bad idea. No, I'm all for it. Yeah, uh, you want it. I'm giving it to him. All right. Um, you uh, uh, you hear uh, Cerise gets first aid in the emergency room, and a few of the other individuals, um, uh, not your party members, start uh, start start going. Can you heal me? Can you heal me? Please heal me. Please heal my wife. Please heal my daughter. My son, or whatever. Yeah. I hope you what brought you enough want? medical supplies, Doc. No, we use the plenty. hospital medical supplies. And volunteer, and, and you might as well get in. This was what yeah. you wanted, right? Yeah, he'll stand up and say, uh, I'm a trained physician. I need I need medicine. I need a, I need a nurse. And then, and and then, um, a, a few a moment or two later, a um, brust in uh, dressed in whites um, comes out and goes. Did you say you were a medical doctor? Indeed, I am. Come with me. Oh, drat! Well, what did you think was going to happen? <laughs> no, I think they this dragged, is perfect. So they dragged the doc. They dragged it. They, so they, dra they dragged the doc in, into the back area, into the back of the, the you know, the back of the treatment area, and says, and says, where did you train? How much experience do you have? Um, as you're being dragged along. Yeah, mostly in the field training of late. I'm, I'm, I'm good at patching wounds, but uh, I can do surgery as well if you need. I give him yeah. my CV. Yeah, but we're a quick run. He says, excellent, excellent, excellent. Scrub up. We need you in surgery. Finally, a proper cleaning. <laughs> that what is that all you wanted was it? <laughs> a proper cleaning. Oh dear. Meanwhile, what are you guys doing out in the um? What are you guys doing out in the uh, in the in the emergency room? Hanging Let's out with the Rezzy, Rez, 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 whatever the nickname. Rez is the nickname. Rez. Mhm. Mm yeah, she introduced herself as as um uh, uh, ski trickster Shashiri E Rez. Rez for short. Uh, and gets all your names off you, apart from Doc, who's not there. Um, and 
and, uh, and, and, and sits there waiting for medical attention, like you guys are waiting for medical attention. Yep. Uh, yeah, yeah. She says she lives. She says she says she lives over in the um, over in the um, sorry, uh, uh, the Foist district. Um, and she was yeah. Basically, her and her friend, who she names as uh, Tick. Uh, T Y Z Z I K. I can't pronounce that. I'm not even going to try. Um, uh, they were out. They were they were out um, uh, visiting uh, visiting some friends in the Jeddah district, uh, and had to abandon the subway, the uh, monorail, and make their way back on foot to where their respective homes were. They both live in the same apartment block, but not in the same apartment. She's yeah. Is, is the information you get? Uh, get her contact info. Um, yeah, ask exactly. if she knows of any good hotel to stay around here. Is this the hospital we may have been looking for? It's yeah. You did pass. You did on the way to this hospital. You did pass another. Uh, uh, that that um, last. We passed uh, the the district line. Yeah, you passed the train station, the monorail station, actually. Okay. Uh, um, so we're in the middle said, class. Well, there's, there's, there's plenty of place. There's plenty. She says to you about that, about accommodation. Hang on. Um, she basically says, she, she, as part of the conversation, she says she would gladly provide them with. She she would provide you with accommodation, but her flat is only a one bedroom flat and too small. Um, there's plenty of accommodation in both uh, Foist and Jeddah. Um, she says that. Uh, in Foist, the accommodation is run by Yikitka. That's, hang on. I really hate these, these foreign bloody languages. By that house, uh, which is a minor trade house specialising in accommodation and, and entertainment. Um, but accommodation in Jeddah is also run by the same house or independence. Um, so there would be an. She said, she said, there's, there are a couple of nice hotels not too far from here, in, uh, in in the Frouse district. Uh, there's also hotels over in the, uh, in the business district too, or on the edge of the business district. So, um, yeah, um, there's plenty of hotels around if you, uh, if you need somewhere to stay. She says. Well, if she could just point it out to us on the map of the ones nearby, and we'll just mark well, those. Well, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't have a, you don't have a detailed enough map for that, mate. No. Okay. Well. Oh, sorry. Can she give us directions? She can give you directions. Are you memorizing the directions? I'll write it down if you'll say it all. <laughs> <laughs> No, are you memor are you the character? Not you the character, not you the player. Are you the character memorizing the directions? Yes. I'll have a logic roll off you, please. Damn yes, it. Yes, you think you you think you memorize the directions properly. And if Jazz doesn't want to watch the front entrance from you know not watch the not from the inside but go to the doors and so we can see outside i will do that yeah i don't want well, there's, anything a steady sneaking stream up of, on us. there's a steady there's a steady stream of pre of, of of people of all races um coming coming in including some uh some uh, security personnel uh in their uh trick trick star uniform it's not trick star um in their rick uniforms um and things like that but there's certainly not enough people coming in to indicate that the violence or the rioting, whatever, is is near is is too close. Um, on various vid screens around uh, the the emergency room waiting room, um, every ch every every one is showing uh, different shots of. Uh, the ri rioting. There's a massive rioting, ma massive rioting going on near the spaceport. It's not. It, it's it's in the general. It's spread out throughout the general suburbs, 
uh, s uh, um, of suburbs is the wrong word uh, of the Jeddah district in and uh, around the spaceport. It does not appear, or reports are saying that the space that it that, that it does not appear the spaceport has been breached. There's a wall of RIC personnel around the spaceport, um, and some of them have got. I mean, they, they some of them have got sonic disruptors. Um, you can see in the in the shots. Um, most of them have got non-lethal um, weapons, sonic stunners, and things like that. Um, um, and there's even a couple of the really heavy-duty sonic weapons uh, that knock people out. Um, there's grenade. Lo there's there's there's. Uh, you can see grenade launchers on some of the uh, weapons that the RIC personnel have. Um, you hope they're they're armed with um, dose grenade. In fact, you see one of the guys. Uh, one of the RIC personnel actually fire a grenade, and um, the pe it's either uh, and the people around where the grenade la lands, um, some of them fall down. Um, so hopefully it is dose grenade and uh, dose grenade or smoke grenade. Um, and there's a couple of um, ground vehicles with um, really the really heavy duty um, pa uh, non-lethal weapons l on the top, like water cannons and and things like that. Um, every now and then they'll fire fire off a shot or fire off a squirt of water to keep the to keep the uh, the riders back. But the riders now seem to just to be intent on rioting. They don't tend to be uh, intent on running uh, running the spaceport per se. Um, so um, yeah, anyone want to do anything or go anywhere or are you going to wait for the doc to come back or what? This seems like a safe Can place I for repeat now. the directions back to her? Can you repeat the directions back to her? Why would you why would you want to do that? <sighs> give me a logic roll. I'll let you if you I'll give me another logic roll. I'll let you I'll let you uh I'll let you uh Oh thank god. I'm not rolling with it. Okay. So yes, you you repeat you repeat the directions back to her and she says no, no, you got that wrong. Here here they are and you can give me another logic roll. Okay, this time you think you got it right. Okay. All I'm right. not the one making the rolls, but... <laughs> In any... I mean, Cat, Doc, do you, well, Doc, you're busy. Cat, Babu, do you guys want to do anything else? Or, I mean, I'm happy hanging here for now. Get free medical uh, there care is a and... Uh, I'm not going to split from the doctor, but... Cat, for the record, there is a uh, public computer term in the waiting in this waiting area. Okay, uh, it's like fully public. Oh well, it's like it's got a shield on it, but it's a public term. It's a public terminal as opposed to a a, a hospital terminal. Yeah. All right, I guess. It's kind of annoying in this game how every computer is different and they're not just linked up by the internet. Well, uh, they are. They are linked up by the internet. They are, except but they aren't. Yeah, yeah, they are. Except it, they are. They are. Except some of them are. Some of them are behind firewalls. Think of it that way. Well, let's get a city map. <laughs> sure. Um, getting a city map is quite easy. Um, and. You know, it shows in re it, it, it's basically a, a Refidex or a UBD or a um, what do you what do you guys in America call the road atlases that you get that's you know, like a book in a, that you put in a car? A map. Atlas. Yeah. Hey, sorry, what was that? A what? Not a map. What was the other one? Thomas Atlas. Guide, weren't they? Yeah, Thomas or an uh, Atlas. Rand yeah, McNally. Uh... A Rand McNally. That's the one. A Rand. It, it, the, the the version in Australia. If you're in Queensland, we call them Refidexes, and if you're in New South Wales, we call them UBDs. It's the same thing. So you download one of those onto your personal comp. Is that what you, is that what you like to do, Cat, or somebody else? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Sounds like a good idea. All right. Which is yeah. Um, it shows you most abilities. It shows you. Um, you can look up on the on your personal comp uh, the, loca the the map locations. It's basically Google Maps. Um, the, the map location of any address in the city that you'd like. Um, any of the, for example, any of the trade houses, the commercial council, 
um, um, uh, hotels, um, you name it. It, it, it. It's 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 literally like Google Maps on your on your phone. And with that and the satellite links, you can actually locate where you are as well, just like Google Maps. Okay? So let's find a hotel. Oh, we got to wait for well, that. Nice. I, no... I know, but we can look it up on the terminal and get reviews and get site plans and see which one we think well, is in no, the right area. Very, and... very, very few. Very few you, you don't get any site plans, um, but you do get... Um, you do get review uh, 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 locations in that. You can then look up those those hotels on the public on the public data term if you want. And prices. Um, the one that, because we're cheapskates. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, most of the hotels um, uh, are around uh, ten credits a night each each room, and uh, that's each single room. Um, doubles are twenty credits a night, and it's ten credits per person extra. So you're up for 10 credits a night, guys, no matter what you're doing. Yep. Okay. Um, the hotel that um, Raz recommended, it's uh, three and a half stars. Um, there are better hotels and there are worse ones, but it's three and a half stars uh, in, and uh, has a, an on-site restaurant. That sounds good to me. Yeah. And the other regular things you'd expect to find in a hotel. Ports for... Now we just have to wait for the dock. Hopefully, come out. Finish chopping. Okay. Um, well, nine hours go by without the dock coming out. Ten hours go by. I think we just sleep in the emergency room then. Yeah, it happens. Um, um, you, you, your wounds are seen too, and you all receive. First aid uh, between now and whenever. Um, Raz is seen too as well over that time period. What about um, my minor surgery? Uh, no, you have to wait for that. There's more people. Um, there's more people in front of you, and you know they're getting through the, the bits and pieces. So, has anyone got any damage apart from Cerise? Uh, I still have. Seven in wound. Yeah, well, you'll you'll have to wait too. Yeah, Jazz is down twelve points after the first aid. All right. So they all, it all sounds like minor surgery, which means yeah. you guys will have to wait. Actually, mine's major. Mine, you are no, yours is a little bit more serious. So you'll be going. You'll be out of this out of this group. You'll be going first, obviously. So yeah, 12 hours, 13 hours, 14 hours, 15 hours, 16 hours. Ja uh, Cerise, you're, uh, you're fully healed. Any updates on the riot? Uh, the riot's still going on. Um, it, it, it has peaked. Um, it goes obviously through the night building some of the there's, there's things you know cars set on fire and things like that um, it does seem to be on the decline um, during these small hours of the small hours of the morning um, 17 hours and um, they come and get you for your minor surgery um, uh, jazz and whoever it was it was Both. Both? does cat need it uh, she's five points down, so it's... Yeah, they come and do you too. Okay. Um, so everyone should be... Everybody should be fully healed, I think, except for the doc, who didn't get damaged, I don't think. Nope, not touched. Thanks, right. Babs. Thanks, Babs. Doc, can you make me three major surgery rolls, please? Major surgery. Um, give yourself an extra experience point for all the hard work you've done successfully over the last 12 to 16 hours. Oof. Mm. 
Well, if you don't want it, you, you, I'll take it back. Oh, that's, I'm tired. Yes, you are tired. Um, after 18 hours, basically, the right pretty much has petered out. Um, and Rick have reasserted control throughout the throughout the city. Um, so um, so yeah. Um, another two hours goes by, so it's a twenty-hour shift dock basically. Um, and the dock finally appears. He looks haggard. He looks exhausted. He almost collapses into you in your arms when he reaches you. He's He's just pulled a, you know, thing. But after that 20 hours, um, they've obviously let him go. Um, so, yeah. So, it is very early in the morning. We're talking maybe even 4, 5, 6 in the morning, effectively. Um, what do you guys want to do? Sleep. Yeah, you want to sleep. Everybody else has had some sleep. <laughs> well, what does everybody else want to do? Again, let's head to the <laughs> hotel, get cleaned up. And we can do some computer research. Yes. Sure. 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 Uh, uh, Raz, Raz, Raz didn't bother waiting. Uh, she went home um, after she uh, she bid, bid you all farewell and and went home and, and got things done in that regard. Um, so um, the news broadcasts uh, are basically um, saying um, that the commercial council. Um, has decreed that that most of the businesses, apart from the essentials, are going to be closed today in the aftermath of the riot. Um, apparently, some of it did spill over into the industrial area and, and, and did some damage. Um, so uh, that, that that's what the commercial council has said. Um, you, you, it's only about a block and a half, maybe even two blocks, and up and around up and around a corner, and you find your hotel. Um, it's actually it's a nice hotel. Um, you go in, you uh, arrange to have, uh, how many rooms do you want, guys? Well, I don't, I to, think... Anyone going to be sharing a room? It didn't co affect the cost at all. Um, no, it doesn't affect the cost. I'll go with you Babu. Want, do, you want, do you want seven single rooms, or do you want, or would you, some of you want to double up? Single room is fine. Double is safer. It's a hotel in a city. I don't. It, whatever. I I'll have a single. Room. <laughs> okay. Let's do That's single room rooms. All right, single rooms. All right. So you're given room six hundred and um, three through to six hundred and ten. All right, and it's a thirteen-story building, just for for well, fourteen-story building. For, for um for for, for, for for your information uh the ground floor of course has the reception area has the restaurant and a bar and a bit of a souvenir type shop and then the 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 uh first floor has a gym as well as rooms uh the second floor has a ballroom as well as rooms the remaining floors all are all rooms basically um apart from the third floor which has a conference center Good. And you guys are on the sixth floor, obviously, and from rooms six. What did I say? Six. You three said to six six three to six ten, which is two more rooms than we need. You, you, oh, who's doubling up? Nobody. There's six of us. There's six of us. We get six. Oh, okay, sorry. I thought, six sorry. oh five six, through six, six ten. No, six oh three to six oh eight. Okay, that'll. Work. Babu will take six oh eight. Okay. Um, the lock is a combination um, key card and biometric scan of a thumbprint, which you gave at reception. Um, each room has an ensuite um, shower and um, obviously bathroom, uh, tea, coffee, and what other other what other what other, what other sti stimulants that are common throughout the frontier, without being illegal. You know the type of thing I'm talking about. Um, um, each room's got a HD, uh, a, a HD TRID unit, and obviously each room's got a computer terminal. Vocal go to his terminal and see if I can't 
find public data just on all the share holder. Do you have op do you have the operate computer? No. Do I need that for that? Yes. Okay. Just like you need operate. I mean, that's the basic skill that you can pick up. So the same as drive car. But I can so already drive a. Yeah, I want to find yeah. out. From the terminal, uh, anything on, on the moon? Hang on, just sorry, just back up a bit, Cerise, please. Sorry, um, the you you can certainly operate the you can certainly operate the terminal via icon without having any particular skill in it, but it's only going to give you public information. It, it's 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 really public information. You can't do any searches or anything else like that, really. Um, you know, apart from, you know, here's a list of hotels, here's a list of this, here's a list of that, here's a list of that. Okay, That's so it's kind of, okay, I see. I get what it is. Okay. So, but anyone with Operate Computer, or the equivalent, can actually start manipulating things and doing searches and, and, and things like that on it. So you were searching for Cerise? Um, more information on the riots, if there's anything I can find there, if there's anything on uh, the KLC or um, the moon explosion. Uh -huh. uh, the only information you get on the KLC is information you already have. Okay. Um, and there are no, no, um, no indication of any restricted files on the on this on on you know on what you can get to from here. Uh, what was the other one? The moon explosion. There is. Well, most of the news is taken up with the riot, okay? Um, there is a report uh, that um, the moon base, uh, the moon base was, uh, hang on a sec. Um, I'm going to find it. <laughs> uh, thank you. Um. Oh, you had you had that too at one stage. Hang on, let me let me, give you, let me just copy that right now so I don't forget. Um. It's actually a story entry. Ah uh, yes, yes, that's right. Um, I'll format this eventually, but at the moment, just to get it out there. Um, there's that information, plus um, there's a report that um, there was a, a, an explosion at that mining colony and the mining colony has been closed. Now let me ask you something in, in all honesty, gentlemen. Did you ever ask me about Trojan Enterprises? Uh, sounds familiar. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, Lestrange's uh, his um, his his corporation. Yeah, we asked you about that. Yeah, that's all right. We asked. Uh, right. We know that they do bioregeneration. Um, they don't do Rusk bioregeneration. Whoopsie daisy. Um, so yeah, look, I'll share that one with you now too. But I'll fix up, I'll fix up the formatting on it later. That was the other one. So that's the information you find after, uh, with what you've been asking me about. Okay. What you've been asking the computer about, I should say. Cat, are you doing anything at all in the, on the same lines, or? Well, I mean, if it all looks like the same information and there's nothing restricted, then. Yeah, there, no, this doesn't look like this. This, this doesn't look like this, this doesn't look like anything constricted, restricted. No. Yeah, it would be strange to find that on a hotel computer terminal, anyway. So yep. Yeah, well, it's, know, a, it's a public. It's a public terminal, so. Well, it's, it's not a public term. It's, 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 but yes, you're right. It's, it's very, uh, very unusual. Um, anything else you guys want to do? Uh, 
What about all the okay. the all the companies and all the shares? We had that before. Do you yeah, want to deal with that had, after this or not? No, well, you had a lot of it, but you didn't have all of it. So, um, if you can remember the names of the names of the ones you ha you have looked at, I'll be honest. I. Oh, that's the other one. You, that's the other one you you had that I haven't given you yet. Well, we went from, I know we went, we looked at the mining co colony, we looked at who owned it, and we looked at those yeah, companies, yeah. and then we looked at the companies that have shares in those companies, and then I think it all came back to dead ends. All right, so. Yeah, what anything would. It, it, I mean, yeah, it all right. came back to it conspiracy theories, right? It, it's like. <laughs> We, it's like a well is Shona Finance okay they they probably have something they probably have a lot more at stake here because they have their fingers in a lot of pies okay well let me get, let me go through the ones that you I know you have got um, and, and and anyone anyone mentioned you looked up didn't you is that right yeah, anyone's referenced in what yeah, we looked up. Yeah, because we know a shows of fa finance has the shares in the mining colony, and then they also have shares in other companies that have shares in other companies, and I think some of those companies have shares in the mining colony. So. Abelman sounds new, but no. Estonia. No, because I, I definitely gave you Schwarzman Exploration, because that's how you got to Schwarzman Mining. Yeah. No, the first time around. I don't know. I tried going back and looking at the video, but I don't know. my Windows Media Player doesn't open FLV file. You didn't bother looking on YouTube? Well, I looked, but it's not there. Oh, so I haven't loaded it yet, have I? Sorry. <laughs> but it should still be on Twitch. Oh, man. It's I not on no, Twitch. I looked there, too. No, it's gone off Twitch. Twitch. I could find something, I could download something to play FLV files, but. VLC, man, VLC player will do it. Where's the fun in that? I can just make my GM suffer. I'm not suffering. I've got to do this anyway, it's part of the campaign. So, I'm not suffering. Damn it. Anybody else have any other leads or ideas for generating leads? Uh, look at connections between Estroza Finance, Trojan Enterprises, and the uh, trade house, the Vistlat trade house, the transport one. Mm -hmm. No, Vistlat's the transport one. I oh, uh, no, the off-world trading, the off-world, uh... Okay. Yeah, I can do some financial checks on these. Because we know there's connections between them. There's that, the... Sistor Arms has... If yeah, if you want if you want to do some if you want to do some financial stuff, um, you can do some financial stuff um, on these companies, if you like. Yeah, some sort of financial analysis or something. See if there's one that ends up owning them all. Well, it shows the finance, I believe, is the one because they have shares yeah, in the mining lot. company and the arms company and the trade house. Uh, in an exploration that had sh 
shares and hold up an exploration company that has shares Well, what about you? You got any? You got any ideas, Cat? Um, uh, no, no, not really. It, I've almost, I almost have to go. It's almost six. So. Yes, I know. Mm. Um, I, so I you guys, you guys, you guys do this stuff. Um, grab a share and everything else. I, I was about to say this is a good place to leave it. So, um, see how we go from there. Um, uh, I hope. Uh, everybody enjoy things i know it was a little bit messed up because of what's going on which is a pain in the butt um we'll see how we go everyone um we'll see everyone in two weeks time can you play those those final um those um end credits please um uh ryan and we'll get ourselves sorted yep. well that's it for this session we hope you've enjoyed the game as much as we did we'd like to thank smiteworks sirenscape and twitch and of course, all the fantastic people involved with the Star Frontiers RPG over the years. I'm Dulux Oz, and on behalf of the entire gaming group, we'd like to say thanks for watching. We'll see you all next time. Until then, may your God go with you. <laughs>